All right. <clears throat> No, 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 no. I don't know how to do this. Okay. I'm trying to think. There we go. Hello. <clears throat> Welcome in, Skittles. How are you doing? Skittles, can you hear me? Skittles, cotton candy. Ah, she's trying to find her headset. Okay. Oh, you're good. You're good. Sorry. I'd make sure I get all this right. All right. Pixel, hello. How are you? How's your uh, week so far? Are you doing better? I know losing a pet is pretty hard and also heads up this stream actually is only 18 plus you can still come in and you know watch and listen but uh just a heads up you're going to hear stuff that you normally don't hear on my channel roblox is down oh man that's not good what if i wanted to play doors <laughs> you don't it's been good okay that well that's good skittles welcome in how are you doing Yeah, um, <clears throat> Skittles here lost <clears throat> uh, one of her dogs recently as well. I love Everybody games. knows Lucifer. Yeah. Karma, welcome in. How are you doing? Let me give you a shout out. Oh, wait, you don't stream. <laughs> Dang it. Hey, when in doubt, shout him out. <laughs> give me a second. I'm just... Just oh, you're good. I couldn't find my actual headset. So, yeah, so I'm not really happy about it, but it is Okay. Doing alright, how about you? I'm doing pretty good, Karma. Also, Karma says also hi, Skittles. Hi, doll. But yeah, I guess I'll. Out of trouble. I guess I'll do my little intro. So we're actually waiting on two more people, but the, uh, Skittles they did say they would be a little late, so we could start without them. When they come okay. in, I already told them that we're in, you know, the chat. When they come in, we'll restart and then they'll play. So we can go ahead and play without them. Uh, but I guess I'll do my little intro. Hello everyone, my name's Dole Blend. I'm a variety streamer, and that's about it. <laughs> I'm playing with Skittles Cotton Candy. Um, we're also, we should be joined with Plague of Kitties. And I don't know what name her girlfriend wants to go off of. So she has two online names. Peachy Dad is one, the other one's Pimp Mother. <laughs> um, but she... I think she's called Peachy Dad. Peachy Dad, okay. And then, I mean, we could probably just call her Caitlin. That's what I have in the title. Um, never mind, it's not down. Oh, yes, all right, Pixel. You're going to play some Roblox. It is um, so hot today, it's not even fun. Yeah, we hit, we hit about 90 degrees today. At this point, I'm like, I just wanted to go ahead and cool off for good now. I and mean, we're almost in October. Two more days. Yeah. Which, speaking of that, Everyone who's watching, 
Yeah, see you. Alright, Pixel, hey, thanks for coming in. Glad to hear you're doing good, and have fun playing uh, Roblox. But yeah, speaking of two days, October, for, actually it's October 2nd, because the first is on a Sunday. I plan to start mm -hmm. my whole month of just horror game streaming. Um, oh, don't forget we do our D&Ds on Monday. Oh, no, I'm aware. I'll have to, for Monday, I'll have to stream earlier that day. Um, so I don't miss, you don't worry, I won't miss any D&D &D session. Um, but I'll oh, try I'm to... I'm just, like, reminding you. Because I just reminded my own self, I can't play the things on Monday. <laughs> I gotcha. At night. Spoopy month, <laughs> yes. But yeah, um, every day, minus Sundays in October. Man, my nose, ugh! Um, again, I'll be streaming horror games only. Um, I'm actually going to go through my sound alerts. I'm going to make sure they're all free. Uh, and yeah. So, like, I'll be playing, like, Five Nights at Freddy's or something, and y'all could scare me with sound alerts. So, I don't know if that's a good idea, but we're going to try it out for a month. Um, that's what I was going to play. <laughs> I, I still got to beat Five Nights at Freddy's 1. And that's the thing. I've actually already streamed it and beaten it, even on the 420 mode. <laughs> and I hate you. It's you even... No, no, it's on my YouTube. Like, there's <laughs> proof that I did it. But I feel like... I. I I've had a lot of people ask me if I could replay it because most people who watch me now didn't watch me at that time. So they actually haven't seen me live stream it themselves. I mean, I actually skills you're one of them where I met you after I've already played it. So I'm going to replay it. Oh, yeah. Probably the first <laughs> game next month that I'm going to play. Um, it's going to be different because now I have sound alerts. Because at the time I played it, I wasn't affiliate yet. Yeah. So I didn't really have access to sound alerts because I didn't have bits or channel points, but now I do. So, well, right. I sent you I'm an invite. Going. Oh, you're about to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only FNAF I played was Help Wanted and Security Breach. Never finished it though. Yeah, Karma. I have a feeling. I gotta buy the others, but I have a feeling I'm gonna play. Like once I beat the first one, which I know I can beat it because I've done it before, but it was so difficult. Especially on the seventh night, which is, you know, I think they call it 420 mode, I think, where you actually tweak the difficulty of every animatronic to 20, which is max. You might need to send me the invite. Okay. And what's cool is that it now says invite to play, so that's cool. But if I do beat it, which I'm pretty sure I will because I've done it before, then I'll move on to the second one. And Skittles, I see that you're streaming, so I'm going to give you a lurk as well. It won't let me join. What? Come on. Don't tell me we're going to have problems with this. Yep, it is. Okay. What's your match ID code? What's the digits? Ooh. What's the numbers? 140. Okay. That's probably an easier mm -hmm. way to do it. Oh, there we go. All right. Hello, Dole, and an and a 18 plus train. Caden, welcome in. How are you doing? Yeah, um, you will hear stuff that I normally don't allow on my channel. That's just how this game's going to be. The characters that I'm going to read for, I'm going to go whack! Like, almost like a duck quack. Quack! Instead of saying, like, the bad word or whatever. Help Wanted is for the VR. is pretty fun. Yeah, I played that one actually at Plague of Kitty's house last time I visited. It's a little creepy because you can actually see them walk by you and then sometimes they'll stop and kind of, like, turn their head. Yeah, welcome in, Caden. How are you doing? Hope you're, uh... I'm ready for the well. movie to come out. I am, too. I'm watching it in theaters. Me, like, too! Like, I like how they're... Like, Hollywood's now... And I understand Hollywood... You know... Oh, I'm getting raided. Oh! Truest... Truest Sin, welcome in. How are you doing? I appreciate the raid. How is your stream? Um. So, oh, Karma says she's watching it too in theaters. That's awesome. Caden says I'm good and I have been doing stuff for school. Ah, I got gotcha. you. I understand. Lunar Salad, Monster Prime. Yo, I'm not the only one. How you doing, Lunar Salad? I'm watching the FNAF movie on Halloween. Ooh, on Halloween. That, that's kind of a good idea. Again, Truest Sin, I appreciate the raid. You are free to promote yourself. How is your stream? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, can't complain. And I'm also going to give Lunar Salad a shout out as well. 
Hyper Knight Raven, welcome in. How you doing? Feather friend. Sense true feather. Rate of feathers. Flight to feather. Friend blend all to help their feathers feel feather. <laughs> Find on the travels of the night. A prom sturman from atop the chamber door. Quaff the raven. Never more. <laughs> Hyper Knight Raven, how you doing? I actually did stay for your raid, uh, Raven. Um, Once you're ready to do, I did leave. So I should have said something, but... Let me give uh, Raven here a shot. Oh, God. Man, if I'm getting scared by lion roars, I can't imagine how next month's going to be. Um, Hey, thank you. I finished Pikmin 4 and then went on to play Digimon because level 1 KH was a pain. Okay. I haven't played any of the Pikmin games, but I've heard they're pretty good. Um, Again, thank you for the follow, uh, Lunar Salad. And someone else followed me. I'm assuming that's you, Truasin. Let me see Yep, you follow me as well. Hey, I appreciate the follows. Hmm, may I join the game? Well, Sal, we're actually waiting on two more people. And actually... I'm ready. Actually, can more than four people play? Or is it only up to four people? If more than four... If, if more than, oh, it's only four? Dang. Um, Lunar, I would. But we're waiting on two more people. Um, I actually don't know if more than four is allowed. If so, then definitely yes, but yeah. So sorry. But maybe next time. I feel bad. I'll be playing it tomorrow. Oh, a Lun oh, actually, yeah, let me give Skittles a shout out. So I'm playing the girl you hear talking. Her name is, I can't at symbol you because you didn't say anything in my, okay, Skittles caught candy. Um, the girl you hear, her name is Skittles Cotton Candy. She is also streaming Monster Prom, and you said you're going to stream it tomorrow as well. Yeah, and I'll have like viewers play with me too. Okay, well, uh, Lunar Salad, yes, Feather Friend, thank you, Feather for Feather, flying by and Feather for the outshot. Hyper Knight Raven, I appreciate you coming in, and you take it easy if you're heading out. True Sense is yes, Lunar Salad, that's good then because I always lose. Oh, really? Well, Lunar Salad, um, definitely check out Whoa. Skittles. What? My dog just growled out of nowhere when he said my name. She went, grrr. Oh, that's what, the, that's what that noise was. Okay. <laughs> um, Everybody knows I have a pug. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, Lunar, or well, actually, True Sin, since I know you stream, I'll definitely give you a follow back. Actually, you know what? While I'm waiting, I'll give, I'll give you all follows. Lunar Salad, do you stream as, actually, wait, I just shouted you out recently. By the way, I gotta press... I'll remember the cut, but I'll be right back. Okay. I have no music playing, so um, I gotta have that. Okay. So yeah, true sin. I'm gonna give you a follow. And also, when I follow people, if you have socials on your channel, I follow them as well. But I'll do all that after I end my stream. Mm -hmm. Um. And lunar salad, I will give you a follow as well. And I feel so bad telling you no, lunar salad. If it was just me and Skittles playing, definitely I'd let you play. Alright, I get both of y'all follows, and someone else what's, just... What's the um, number again? 140. Um, truest Chocobos send Mon Ray to cheer you on and watch both you and Melody's Starflower one play games. Oh, prompt do max photos. I appreciate it. Let me give you a shout out. How you doing? Remember to use exchangeable voice chat for a top notch. Okay. Remember to use external voice chat for a top notch experience. Okay. Um, but yeah, prompt to max photos. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, shoot, I'll give Melody Star Flower One a shout out. I'm I'm gonna go off of your spelling. Melody Star. Flower one. All right. We'll you know we can us. start. I just. I I know. I'm trying to. I know. I'm trying to catch up on chat real quick. Don't worry. We're about to start, y'all. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's cool. LOL. I told Sin I need to finish Oblivion. Ooh, Oblivion. Oh, come on, camera. Focus. Okay. Um, when I first saw the title of the game, I thought I was seeing something. When I saw that a dull stream will be 18 plus. Oh yeah. Ren Joker, welcome in. Yeah, everyone's coming in. 
You'll never see it coming. Truest best scene of Team Phantom Thieves Raid. The Denver Dole best blend so that they, they take the world of Monster Prom with friends and take Renwell's love. <laughs> with the ability to steal hearts. Happy Tales stirs the Truest Raid surprise. Ren Joker, welcome in. How are you doing? I appreciate the surprise uh, visit. Hey, Ren is here. Oh, y'all all know each other. That's cool. Okay. All right, y'all. We're going to start because we're already 15 minutes into the stream. Uh... Oh, okay, here we go. But yeah, so what we're going to do, we're waiting for two people to join, but they did say they'll be a little late. Short game. Yeah, we're going to do a short one. Um, ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. Yes, Lunar Elvis lurking. Okay. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Ooh, who am I? That's hard. I'll go with the green Frankenstein dude. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Oh, Skittles is going to choose the fire girl. Yeah, so, Lunar, I would let you join on this short one, but that means if the two people, when they do come in, we'd have to restart and you wouldn't be able to join. So I'm just going to have me and Skittles play a little one while we're waiting for uh, our two friends to join. But again, Lunar, like, us, like Skittles said, she plans to play this and stream it tomorrow. Um, I'm sure she'll let you play with her then. We had yet to experience this ultimate challenge, the Monster Prom. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left. And as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. It's called cool, I queued up Oblivion. Okay, gotta get all the achievements for sin. I still need to beat Oblivion. Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Scott Howe, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Liam D. Lioncourt, 400-something, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polygeist, I, I like that, Polygeist, 22, maybe? Or 200-something? I wonder if that's what it means. A partly ghost... A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Damien, is your favorite? Is that is that him? I'm trying to remember. Is the demon guy Damien? I mean, it fits. Mine, mine's obviously the werewolf. <laughs> it was clear it had to be one of them, but who? We only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. I always like Liam because vampires. Yeah. I think I've lost both times to uh, Lunar, so don't feel left out. But as I... Oh, Karma says, yep, yeah, okay. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. So those of y'all who are listening, I'm pretty much going to voice the narrator. I'm Skittles. We'll, we'll probably keep it simple. Could you voice all the girls and I voice all the guys? <laughs> oh, guys! <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a voice in the game. <laughs> oh, guys! I'll do it. <laughs> okay. I was like... Because I know they'll make, like, noises, but okay. <laughs> Teen Wolf, hot or not, take this... Oh. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. <laughs> Karma's like, oh my god. <laughs> Worry no more. We're now using our PhD in Wah! to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. So everyone who knows my channel, I like to, I try to keep it family friendly. However, Skittles, Kitties, and Caitlin, when they come in, they're free to say whatever the game says. Oh. I'm going to I'm going to make a duck sound though for every word I don't want to say just to make it kind of funny and a little less Are you going to do brilliant. your evil duck one? Do your evil duck? 
Oh, I was just going to do like whack, quack, or something like that. I'm not going to do actually no. quacks in D and D. Which I think he says the same thing anyway. All right. <laughs> um, Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever. Trademark. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. Ooh, D and D. This way, each of you will start by having <laughs> stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, Car- no. Karma goes quacks. Yeah. I know Karma's character Mel does not like quacks. That's funny. I don't either. Oh, that's right, Arwen. Yes, I think Hugs don't doesn't understand. A radioactive. Oh. oh, this is me. Okay, <laughs> a radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? Prompt. Lurk, lurky Chuckabos. Thank you for the stream, Chuckabos. All right, prompt. Appreciate the lurk. Um, and you take it easy. I'm assuming that's what you meant with lurk. Um, the superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis to get the desired reaction from all people, seducing my loved ones, burning my enemies, <laughs> settling any argument, and even conveying complex emotional thoughts. I might have to re- reread that one again. That was a lot. The incredible power of writing fan fiction so compelling that the actual creators of the TV shows decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. Karma! What is it? Adventure time? <laughs> uh, probably rabies. I'd go to a hospital immediately. What was the first one? Emojis to get the desired reaction from all people. So powers that always choose the right combination of the emojis. Yeah, I'm, I'm torn between one and two, obviously. Oh, I was going to go for one, but go for it. Well, I think I think uh, you get a different question, right? No, we get the same question. Uh, I think, wait, pick whichever one first. Oh! Yeah. Actually, no, you get to pick the same one. So the first one is pretty much, you get you always put down the right emoji, so you get like the, I guess reactions you want. The second one is fan fiction for TV shows, and the TV shows will actually go with it. Third one is actually the realistic one. Which one did you choose? I chose the second one. Okay. Ah. What is your soul emoji? The emoji that speaks the truth of your soul. Snowman, because that is in the middle of a blizzard, and he's whack smiling. He doesn't give a whack about blizzards, and he has a whack hat. Wah. Octopus emoji. Best animal on earth. I know five mixed drinks, three whack cocktails, and 17 whack positions that involve one or several octopi. <coughs> Caucasian guy with a turban because whack stereotypes. <laughs> I wonder if it's easier to say whack or quacks. Quacks? I'll probably do quacks. All right. Quack. Um... I feel like I need to get the second one because I'm trying to woo someone. So here we go. <laughs> Dang, that was fast. <laughs> I know which one. I, it said mixed drink, so I was like, Oh, my. that's... Is that the same one I chose? Rin, I appreciate the What Lord. would be the, the most appearing in love partner? Oh, what would be the most appealing in a love partner? Kawaii eyes, a big horn... Sharp wits, a taste for party, a very sun dear personality, or soft fur. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm going to go with... What does sun deer mean? I actually don't know. Let me see. I'm going to look it up real quick. Because I might go with that one. You don't know? Do you want me to look it up? Oh. Oh, okay. So he's like... Uh, okay, I got you. Harsh personality, but he eventually warms up. You know what? I'll go with that. I do like personality. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Carl is like, this is great. Yes! I get the big guy again! <laughs> Yay! I feel like... I got the... You got the... um That turns everyone to stone. Yeah, I got Medusa. Alright. And I got the... Mean because they like... Guy. Okay. Mean because okay, gotcha. All right, gotcha. Gone. Works for a walk. Have a hollow hype. Time and thank you for the <clears throat> dull monster blend prom swing. Rin, I appreciate you coming in, and uh, I appreciate the lurk. And you take it easy. Glad to hear everything's good on your end. Um, definitely follow Rin. I believe Rin actually streams mainly on YouTube. So Rin, if you want to, if you're still here and you want to put it in your YouTube uh, URL, you're definitely welcome to. All right. 
auditorium, class, library, outdoors, gym, bathroom. I'll do gym. I feel like I probably that fits. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Also pretty much a paladin. Leading to a spectacular <laughs> comeback. <clears throat> You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. Nice! Later, you see Vera cackling to herself in the hallway, which is whatever, but you might as well find out why. All right, Skittles, here no you go. Crab. <clears throat> oh, great. <laughs> Does Pratt seem my prom queen exception speech in my mind? Feather for feathers, fight of the night. Cruel was watching over and put the troubles of the night to get feather. Food from the next. Top of trimming door, quaff the raven or more. I'm assuming raven, that means you're getting food. <laughs> Alright. It's just not like the title bears any meaning. Whatever. Of course. And I really do concern the whole thing way beneath me. However. Concerning how much meaning other girls meaning other girls put on it, I can't risk some a pity you bitch. Can, yeah, I was say you can say it. I'm allowed it on the stream, so you're, you're allowed it? Yeah. I was scared. I'm scared. Okay, okay. <clears throat> bitch thinking she's better than I am. I'm just not gonna say it. I'm gonna quack. <laughs> so, but y'all, y'all can say it, yeah. Plus, it's not bad branding either. <sighs> I can see you. Using, I gotta like breathe. <laughs> I could see using victory to start a line of successful prom queen accessory. Gathered? Guaranteed. E Guaranteed. To get you to win! Perfect prom shoes. The right makeup. Fancy knives to take out your opponents. Oh shit. Speaking of which, I assume this goes without saying, but I'm not leaving anything to chance. I'll be doing a blood ritual blood ritual to ensure my win. I still haven't found exact details yet, but I'm op optimistic. Optimistic that at least some of the items will be found in the shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> oh. The only question is where exactly I can find the details for a proper bloody ritual. Why don't we ask the <laughs> coven? They're witches. They should know all about blood magic. Literally just search the internet. Like, that's literally what it's there for. You know what, ask for her... The witches. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the witches. Oh. Nice. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> of course. I knew those basic bitches oh crap would came in in handy one day actually I really didn't I always thought they were really useless but what but I'm never mad to be proven wrong when it serves me using the skills you gain during the extra credit summoning seminar you call forth the coven Oh crap! <laughs> oh. <laughs> let me let me get let me get a drink of water. All right, take your time. Okay. <clears throat> what is it now? Is there some emergency? Is the world needing of saving? All right. Sorry. Let me. Uh... Okay. Here go. <laughs> Of course not. The world is the worst. Why would I ever want to save it? No, I just want to be prom queen. 
and I need some blood magic to guarantee my victory. And I figured you three could do something proactive for once. Productive. Protective for once. What do you mean, for once? For once, the contract saving you from disaster. Destruction. Destruction. We're the ones who? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just tell me how to cheat my way into being prom queen. Or I'll start a rumor that you, that you're just a mega swarm of bees in three people suits. Why would that? Ugh, whatever. Here's what you need for the ritual. R ritual. 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 Yeah, ritual. The blood of a formal prom queen. The tongue of a goat. Ugh. And the earring of a innocent goddess. Ancient. Ancient goddess. Ugh, that's gross. Could have got them. Yeah. But good luck getting those. <clears throat> Thanks. I need your option. I'll ask for it. Opinion. Oh, hold on. Let me re can I restart? I mean, you, you can, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Now I need your option. I'll ask for it. Uh, it was opinion. I said it wrong again, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Did I say we'll, onion? We'll... Huh? Did I say onion? I said, said onion. No, you said option. Oh. Opinion. I'll ask for it. You did ask. And now, you answered. So, you can leave. In a puff of aggravated smoke, the coven disappears. Let's split up. You check the shop. I'll grab a goat and meet you in the bathroom when you're done. <laughs> well, guess you're involved in some blood magic now. Sounds fun. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Raj, I appreciate the lurk. Lurk, but I hope you get a horrifying prom date. <laughs> How you doing, Raj? Hope all is well. Hope your week's going well. All right. Now it is your oh. turn. Allie. You said Allie or Owie? You said Allie. Oh, I meant Skittle. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I guess. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms <laughs> because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give plus zero wax, but you gain plus two boldness. <laughs> Scott strolls by, happily munching on something. Liam gapes at him, appalled. Okay. <clears throat> what, what on earth are you eating, Scott? This delicious new flavor of Fangle's potato chips. Maximum ultimate, ult, ultimate double B barbecue masker. <laughs> Dang. Ultimate? What? What? So it's meat, but ultimate. So it's a play on words of ulti uh, ultimate, but it's meat, yeah. Oh, okay. Really? Because it looks like a raw severed goat head inside a cardboard table. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Could have sworn it was potato chips. Still tasty, though. <laughs> tasty. Tasty. Does wanton environmental destruction sound tasty to you? I don't know. Is that a kind of jerky? <laughs> no, Scott. Don't you <laughs> don't you realize that in order to harvest these goat heads, fangles, and code decapitate millions of innocent goats every year? But what do they do with the bodies of the goats? Nothing. It's a horrendously wasteful practice. 
Oh no! All those poor headless goat bodies running around and bumping into things. We have to stop them! Wait, really? I was just trying to make you feel guilty. I didn't actually have a plan of action, but if someone were to suggest one. Assemble an army of vengeful undead goat torsos? Write an extremely mean blog post. Oh, my nose. I don't know. It's up to you. I feel like I got the werewolf's voice down pat, but the vampire, I think that's okay. what it is. I, I gotta figure out his voice. Do a hug's voice. Do hug's voice? Yeah, do hug's voice with the vampire. That doesn't fit him, though. Actually, hug's voice would fit the werewolf. But I've already okay. got... Well, I've already got his voice down pat, though. So, Hugs' voice actually would fit the character that I'm playing. The Frankenstein dude. But, since I'm playing him, I'll never, like, truly voice him. Just like the character you're playing, the fire girl, you'll never truly voice her. Uh, My nose, okay. it's just, like, crazy. Yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, necromancy. The ultimate tool of the protester's arsenal. Oh! Oh! Can I write a ghost? Can I? Huh? Goat, not ghost. Oh. Goat! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said ghost. You can, re you can just restart. Reflect. Nah, it's all good. Okay. Of course you can ride a goat. In fact, given your size, you'll probably need to ride several. What's a several? Is it a really oh. big goat? No time to explain basic concepts, Scott. We've got an invasion to orchestrate. As long as you're re as long as you're reanimating things, you reanimate some severed goat heads too. They'll eat anything, which totally helps you clean your room. <laughs> you gain plus what? you gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. Wait, let me get this straight. Your characters have goat problems, okay? Mine is dealing with goat problems. No, my character isn't dealing Has with... To fly. Yeah, because you have to have a goat tongue. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's trade places. Um, I, I feel like Rand... Let's do challenge. Decide players' awards. Oh, Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, Gone with the Wind. Can it be any kind of movie? Yeah, it just got to be a movie. Okay. Um. And you didn't click yet, right? No, I haven't yet. Correct. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to think. Uh. Fox and the Hound. All right, now click. All right, player order is decided based on how weird the fandom of the select movie would be. Start debating now. That's actually hard because honestly, I don't think your movie or mine is weird. Now the reason why they do I would say I could, I'll say this: Swords Art Online. Well, no, you already, no, you already picked Fox and Hound. No, I'm just saying if I did. If I didn't say that, I would say an anime show. Of which yeah, they well, are weird. Um, wait, is it a show or a movie? Uh, there's some movies. Okay, it has to be a movie. It can't be a show. But uh, but no. no, the reason why they didn't want us to click is they're wanting us to decide based on how weird the fandom of the movie is. It's possible they would have said based on how much actions in the movie, stuff like that. But we're going off of weird. Up, oh, Karma saying both. Okay. Um. Press see, random. See, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna click random because to me I feel like neither is weird. They're both. I never heard of your movie before at all. So. Gone with the wind. Okay. I mean, it's not weird. Um, but okay. <laughs> but Karma saying both. So Karma, we're gonna just do random because it feels like I'm saying Hold neither. <laughs> oh, Karma said I meant for Sword Art Online. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, is it both show and a movie? Is what you meant? We were gonna yeah. do random. The Dias cat. Oh, okay. I go first. <laughs> <sighs> Week one, noon. <laughs> um, 
Now for him, I'd be like, uh huh, yeah. A conversation. Okay. You gotta sit with you. All you right. gotta sit with your person. Vera's about to lift a glass of scotch to her immaculately painted lips. You can drink whatever at this school, apparently, when Miranda screams. Stop! Don't drink that! Why not? This scotch costs more than most cars. Have you taster tried it yet? What taster? You don't have a taster? What if you drink it poisoned by someone jealous of your goodness and royal title? Listen, Mira. I only drink for four things. Scotch, red wine, and tears of my enemies. And straight up poison. You drink poison on purpose? Miranda, my hair is venomous snakes. You think poison actually harms me? <clears throat> well, well, you should still have a taster. What if someone puts really spicy hot sauce in your drink? Or, or poison? Ugh. What do I have to do to get in? What do I have to do to get you to drop? Simple. Higher and testing. <clears throat> Fine. Any volunteers? This might just be the big break you've been looking for. You raise your hand, and when Vera picks you, you <laughs> drink all her scotch, enraging Vera into delighting Miranda, pretend to be poisoned, terrify Miranda, and amusing Vera. Miranda's the mermaid, right? And Vera's the snake lady? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm not helping you. Sweet, there we go. <laughs> you shoot Vera a wink, take the tiniest sip of her scotch, and then... <gasps> no! No! Stop vomiting! How will you be able to taste where the poison is if you're too busy foaming at the mouth of the vomit? You fool. He's poisoned. Run and tell the authorities before this poor sap face melts off or something. Oh dear, oh my, I'm no good in Chris's situation. Chris is my informally present childhood. Ah! Miranda faints with the utmost drama. If there's one thing princesses are good at, it's fainting. <laughs> that was hilarious. I should put poison in my scotch more often. You can stop me now, by the way. She passed out. Oh, do you need a national? All right, here you go. I guess I should have a, have let you know the scotch was actually this. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? How about we get ice cream to make up for the for it? Woo! Your stomach's still too weak for ice cream, but you're never too sick to spend some quality time with Farah. All right. I'm scared. Oh, I gotta do with the the drug drug druggy. Oh, the ghost. The ghost druggy. Scott and Polly are sitting together, laughing their metaphorical whack off. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Do Damien, do Damien. Gee, I'm Damien. Look, I'm. Look at my stupid red face! I use violence to cover up the fact that I've been brought up to revenge a toxic... What the, a toxic version of... Masculinity. Masculinity? Which has... Al alienated. Alienated me from my own true emotions! Don't uh, click the next one. Let me read my chat real quick. Going to be getting my blood drawn on the same day of 10 years being together. My liver doctor asked for blood drawn for test. Florida man, welcome in. How are you doing? Um, And let me get this straight. You're getting your blood drawn on the same day of 10 years. Is 
So you're checking your liver, Florida man? By the way, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And you can continue, Skittles. Okay. <clears throat> let me take a water. Let me take a drink of water. Oh, this is hurting my throat. I like it, but oh. Ha ha! You sound exactly like him. Okay, okay. You do, Verna. I'm Vera. I'm very smart, and my hair is pretty, and all my friends look up to me because I am a strong, independent woman. Scott, I'm not sure you understand how impressions work. I like that because I wasn't sure if I was supposed to like sound like her in his voice, so I just played him. But it fit because apparently he wasn't supposed to sound like her anyway. I'm not Scott. I'm Vera. You can tell because I said my name just now. Okay, what about you, Fire? Got any good impressions? Oh! Just one, but it's a real doozy. Woof woof, it's me, Scott, a dog boy who is bad at impressions. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Polly. Look at me go. <laughs> I do not sound like that. Haha, <laughs> yeah you do. You talk like that all the time. Okay, maybe... But why is she running around the cafeteria rubbing her butt in everyone's lasagna? Oh, shit. Alright, don't click. Let me read the chat real quick. Yeah, I was in Miami. She said I look good. But now, but how I've been getting icky a lot. So she wants blood drawn on skins. The skins will be on a different day. Well, Florida man, I hope things uh, turn out to be good. Um, man. At least she said she looked that you look good so far, and it's I guess it's smart to still get scanned just in case. All right, Skittles, you can continue. Because she is twerking, Polly. Don't you recognize twerking when you see it? <laughs> oh my gosh, <sighs> that's not twerking. Twerking doesn't require driving from the table to table in a hot pink golf cart. How is this even? Any impression of me? Are you saying you don't wish you were driving a hot pink golf cart and putting your butt in people's lasagna right now? <laughs> Fine! Out of my way! While Polly's busy making love to everyone's lunch trays, you enjoy a quiet meal along with Scott. So romantic. Let's trade places. Um, let's do another challenge. Everybody chooses an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Okay, what does that mean? A uh, job. I'm going to do oh. lumberjack. Hosting. Okay, I'm going to read chat real quick. 10 in the morning was the earliest to get my blood drawn, so I picked that instead of 1 in 12. Okay, yeah, I do that too, Florida Man, when I... Get, when I like doctor visits, where I visit the doctor, I try to choose the earliest one as well. Alright, Skittles, which one did you say again? Hosting. Host, okay. Like at a restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Player order is decided based on how boring a VR simulator based on a selected occupation would be. Start debating now. Yours? <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I think, v, I think VR lumberjack would be more fun than VR hostess at a restaurant. You just go back and forth seating people. You're at the front. But a lumberjack, though, he could come across a bear. He could come across like a, uh, I about to say a werewolf, Wolverine. Um, a tree could fall on him. Let them vote. Let's ask them before. I know they. Let's let's see. Ask them what. Well, <laughs> well. Well, no, well no. I know. Yeah, still still choose, but if anyone says it in the chat, I'll tell you what they say. Okay. But uh, I think All yours. Right. I'm thinking yours is more boring, so I choose you. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Are you going to choose? But if I, oh, then I, if I didn't say that, I would say, um, scuba diving. Well, remember, they're, they're saying which one's the most boring. If you chose scuba diving, then I actually would say mine's the most boring. I would have won. Yeah. But I think but, oh, well. I think your occupation of hostess is more boring than Lumberjack in VR. So that's why it I chose you. It is boring. 
not going to write this morning. But memory for this, you're actually, if you want to go first, you're actually wanting to be the boring one. So you win in my yeah. opinion. But you, you, oh, yeah. you can still choose me. It's up to you. No, nope, I do go. I'll go first today. This time. Okay. Okay. Um, I hate going to the doctors because they usually make you stay there overnight. Yeah. Up oh, here goes fire. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. You're casually reading the latest issue of Monster Magazine when you are rudely interrupted. <clears throat> See? Even Fire, a sensible monster with a good head on her shoulders, and at least some smarts, is reading Monster Magazine. Yeah, and that's bad, because we're warriors, so we need to fight. Scott takes the magazine from you and punches it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hooray, let's go solve another of the world's major problems. No, Scott, we're social justice warriors. You see, fire, ever since our major success with the Fangle's goat head tobacco, we've taken it upon ourselves to stand up against injustice. By punching magazines! No, Scott. As you no doubt noticed, Monster Magazine's sexiest monster alive this year is Count Victor Von Musselbod, the werewolf prince slash bodybuilder. That makes him the fifth royal werewolf bodybuilder in a row to earn the title. What about those of us with leaner physiques? What of our representation? So now we're endeavoring to get Monster Magazine to name someone from a more marginalized community as their sexiest creature alive. We just need to figure out a way to convince them, since I guess punching the magazine wasn't good enough. Psh, that's easy. All you need to do is to solve everyone's body image issues forever is... Make our own version of the magazine, featuring a three-winged chupacabra on the cover... Lean heavily into the warrior part, Storm Monster Magazine, and hold the editor-in-chief captive until he promises to stop exclusively promoting one aesthetic as the pinnacle of monster sexiness. I have no idea. You want me to, like, explain it real quick to you? Yeah. So the first one, the top one, is where you make your own magazine to do whatever you wanted to do anyway. The second one is where you actually go to the office of the first magazine company and you pretty much like hold the boss captive until he actually does what you want him to do. Which one should I pick? Dang. I, uh. that, that's up to you. Okay, I'm... It's up to you. Have my eyes closed. I'm at. <laughs> Ooh. Did what I pick a the right brilliant. One? Huh? Did I pick the right one? Yep. <clears throat> okay. So remember, since you're going so you're going for the guy on the left, right? With the red jacket, yeah. Oh, that's the guy on the right. You pr you picked the wrong one then. If you're going for the guy on the left, the top one is the one you pick. If you're going for the guy on the right, which is what it sounds like you're going for, you choose the bottom one. So you actually chose the wrong one. Uh. <clears throat> um, what a brilliant idea. Three-winged chupacabras are definitely an underserved population. I've played sports game against someone exactly like that. And he's always wanted to be a model, but never thought anyone would want to do pictures of him. Now we can! I guess I did pick the right one, because if oh, I didn't... Oh, okay, maybe, but... you, maybe you did, yeah. I, I don't know this game that well. <laughs> did you read it up? Yeah. Okay. You can and you do. You do all the pictures and make a mock-up of your own monster magazine. Okay. It goes hella viral, and before long, it's becoming more celebrated than the actual monster magazine. 
Pretty soon after, you get a letter from the editor-in-chief officially admitting defeat in the face of your superiority and relinquishing his magazine and headquarters to you. Oh, wow. Dang. Sweet. Now you have a magazine, which instantly brings you plus three money. Wow. That's awesome. Ah, dig it. Hey, I knew you were able to move on to your next misadvantage, but I just wanted to say real quick. As pretty much as pretty much the only girls in the school shape differently, but the rest of our classmates. <laughs> it was really nice to see the three winged chupacabra celebrate over a royal werewolf bodybuilder. It gives us hope, too, you know. Aw, that was actually really sweet. The Coven is so much cooler when they're not babbling on and on about that end of the world bull quacks and expecting your help with it. <laughs> it's way more fun to interact with your classmates when they're complimenting you instead. <laughs> I like how he's like, um, sure. Uh, I did gym already, yeah. If you do the library, you can get a gift. Remember you gotta go get something in the gift? Shop? Okay. I'm assuming that's a girl, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll let you read it. <laughs> oh, crap. Ugh! Shouldn't be you... Shouldn't... Shouldn't be you out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Wait, wait, Anyways. wait, 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 wait. What are you reading? That's not what I'm seeing. Let me let me go on your stream. Are you seeing something different? Oh, Shouldn't you be out. Oh, me and you have different. Oh, so you're reading what you see. So okay, I'll read out what I see then. Wow, why? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. So I, I'm wondering if, if we go to the library, both our characters go. And so you're reading what your character would read, and I'm reading what my character would read. So I'll read out what, I, what I'm seeing. Hey, why would you study and prepare for your future when you can come here and buy some weird quacks instead? Am I right? That's what I see. But, yeah, mine's it. Yeah, you're, okay. you're saying shouldn't you be... You gotta buy something. What was it? Can you see me controlling it, or do you have to control it? Yeah, I can see. Oh, okay. I see you controlling it. <clears throat> um, you can Russian... pick exit, too. And well, you can pick something else, you think. Wait, if I exit, don't I leave it, though? I want to look through all the these things first before I exit. A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. A penguin mask. A PR agent. A sexy fake Latin accent, a bag of regular cocaine, wow, some impractical yet kind of funny glasses, a fake badass tattoo, I'm not going to read that one, the gift that keeps on giving, <laughs> um, a motivational poster. I'm going to exit, because I don't remember. Okay. My stuff isn't good enough for you? Not cool. You know what? Maybe you aren't good enough for my stuff either. Oh, that's what I have. That's what I see. Okay. I guess it did not Oh, wow. So I should have picked something. Dang it. Okay. Ah, oh, something happened too. Green. Oh. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> another weekend, another adventure. You're about to enter the swamps of despair in search of the destruction ruby when Scott stops you. Probably for a much more urgent matter. Ooh, did someone just join? Plague of Kitties, welcome in. Ah, oh, we were getting a good fight. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, kitties? Hello? Taking a steel bath, leaving. Because he was doing something for me. Sorry, I didn't hear you. You said someone was doing something for you? Yeah, I said Riley was making me feel bad about leaving because he was doing something for us, or for me. Oh, wow. 
Nah, it's okay though. I get it. He was like, the company's nice. Um. The entire PlayStation. <clears throat> Disgusting. Bro. So, a heads up, we are streaming. We've actually been doing it for an hour now. Um, are y'all going to join us now? Or? Are y'all done with your game? No, we're still playing. How much more do you have? We chose the smaller one, but we're going really slow. We're probably, I imagine, like, what, a quarter of the way through? Actually, wait, yeah. it's two weeks, right? That means we're halfway We're, we're halfway through then, because it's the weekend. Yeah, just just finish it, because we're about to, like, eat a quick pizza pizza and get get on, and it'll take a while for me, for my computer to load it, I think. I do have a question. Okay. Yeah. Do y'all have the road trip? Uh, no, I do not. I don't think so, no. Okay. I was just wondering because I've been wanting to play that one. Okay. How much? I don't it? have enough. I don't have <clears throat> enough money for it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just, broke. <laughs> yeah, just uh, let us know when you're going to join, and we'll stop. But we'll keep going. Well, if you don't have it, we might be able to just remote play on Caitlin's. Now I'm I'm gonna say no. If you want to do that, I've. I've tried remote play a few times with other games, and half the time it seems to be just kind of complicated to work. I'm streaming right now. I just want to do a smooth stream, so. Okay. But yeah, just let us know when y'all are ready to join, and we'll go back. But we'll play until then. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Another weekend, another adventure. You're about to enter the swamps of despair in search of the destruction ruby when Scott stops you. Probably for a much more urgent matter. Oh, Green! I was just thinking about you in that time you were really, really good at dodgeball. Coach said! Remember? Not really. All your classes kind of blur together and become repetitive after a while. But hey, why not take the compliment? Well, I think people are like sports, you know? Because, well, sports are good and people are good. So if they're both good, then they must be the same. Sure. Right? Sure. But all sports are different, so all people must be different. And some sports are better than others, and some people are better than others. And I like different sports, and I like different people. But there comes a time where you have to choose one sport and one person. You can't take two different sports to prom or play in the major leagues of two different people. No, wait, opposite on those. You figured. Also, it doesn't really make sense either way, so whatever. So, our friend, Fire. Oh, kinda... no. <laughs> so, I feel like I could sabotage what you're trying to do or help you out. So, I'll try to help you. Oh. What kind of sport do you think she would be? Coach says romance is the most intense of all sports. So, this is very, very important. Um, Fire is the holy amalgamation of football, basketball, and baseball known to the initiated as all ball. Fire, a sport, virus, chess. I want to say it's the Top first one. one. Yeah. I say. T oh, yes. okay. All ball. I've heard of all ball. It's the <laughs> ultimate sport. You can tell because it has all the balls. <laughs> you can dodge the balls or kick the balls or hand the balls or foot the balls or basket the balls. If fire is all ball, then she must be the best at being a person too. I'm so glad you told me. And I'm sort of surprised you've heard of all balls. You must be a great athlete. We should play some time. Well, you're not sure about a great athlete, but you are definitely a great friend. You're welcome, Fire. <laughs> Wait, Strudel, I appreciate the lurk. How are you doing? Well, you're not sure about a great athlete, but you are definitely a great friend. You're welcome, Fire. Um, Strudel, I hope everything is going well with you. Um, let me do a stream check real quick before we continue. I'm str I'm lurking Skittles. Hi. Um, okay, actually that's it. All right. <clears throat> you would make a balls joke, but you're way too classy for that. Haha, -ha, balls. You know what? You gain plus three fun for that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's trade places. All right. Let's do another challenge. Um, okay. Everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Elephant. I would have to say spider monkey. Okay. 
Player order is decided based on how likely it would be for the selected animal to take over humankind. Start debating now. Ooh. Ooh. Hard this one, is, isn't this it? This is a hard one. Because, like, I could definitely see spider monkeys taking over, but, it would, but we, <laughs> there would have to be a lot of them. At the same time, at the same time, elephants have actually taken over villages, I think, in Africa and India before. Like, just by, just by rampaging yes. through them and destroying buildings. Spider monkey's been stealing a lot of things from people. Oh, true, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's hard. You know what? I For me, it's a tie. I don't it's know. It's a tie for me. All right, so we'll click random. Random. Oh, me again. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you got this. All right, week two. So we got one, two, so, three more days to go. Back. So now we're actually officially halfway through. Um, like I said, just come in whenever if you're still in the Discord call. Oh, she's muted. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Don't do the gym again. Do the party. Heck yeah. Well. Uh, we're just trying to get steam for Oh, up. wait. Oh, you're good. I'll do bathrooms. That day you skip <laughs> class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. On the way there... You run into my, into Mamimi, the only girl. She offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this quacks. <clears throat> Garana seed extract, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness? Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gain plus two boldness. Think Mamimi and proceed to the bathrooms. Vera is trying to teach you and Scott how to play craps when you hear an all-too-familiar howl. Guys, guys, the wolf pack is here. It's my family and teammates. The wolf pack. Yes. Wonderful. I'm sure they're here to share their latest intentional achievements. In intellectual. International achievements. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, we'll continue. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do probably the same voice. Actually, no, hugs. What up, my dogs? <laughs> hey guys, Farrell was just. That's cool. That's cool. So guess who's got a hot date lined up for this weekend? Ooh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I've got this. Is it you? Bingo, Broski. Turns out online dating super easy. Yeah, the secret. <clears throat> Hold on. Yeah? The secret is just be hot. Like me. Sure, sure. Or you can just use an actor's face and body instead of your own face and body on the dating website. That's what we did. Aren't you worried about the politician? Potential. Wait, politician? Potential. Consequence of that? Like, what's gonna happen when your date realizes you're not actually handsome. Whatever. Uh, mix strong pecs. Okay. Mix strong pecs. Ew. How did you know which actor we chose? And what are we going to do? That's a very real problem that we never considered. Luckily, you're an expert <laughs> at online dating and at lying. You share with them the perfect solution. Oh, someone else joined. Peachy Dad. Oh, real quick. What should I call you on the stream? Should I call you Peachy Dad, Pimp Mother, your name, or is there another name? Caitlin, did you hear him? Caitlin. Um. Hold on. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to continue. Caitlin, did you hear him? He wants to know what to call you on the stream. Caitlin, Peachy Dad, Pimp Mother, or or something else. Or something. She said Caitlin's fine. Okay, sweet. That's actually what I have on my title stream, so nice. Okay. Luckily, you're an expert at online dating and at lying. You share with them the perfect solution. Spend the entire date inside a cardboard refrigerator box covered in question marks. Mystery is alluring. Just be yourself, but first tear off the actor's face and wear it, so yourself will have the same face as the actor. They're both bad. Uh, uh, the second... Oh, wait. 
first I'm gonna, one. I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna do the bottom one. Oh, nice. Ah. Oh, that's so sweet. Is it? Well, it, was, it is, but yeah. Oh. It is? Well, you're right. The power was inside us all along. We never needed to pretend to be some famous actor online. We just needed to steal his face and use it to replace our face. That's the spirit. <coughs> it is? All right, boys, let's go steal us a face. I can help. I love helping. Okay. Scott sprints away with his boys to do something extremely questionable. Well, I must say, your ability to sell idiots on a dumb plan is extraordinary. You think you could sell some real... Estate. Estate on my behalf? Boy, do you. You gain an extremely shady real estate license and also plus two charm and plus one money as an advance on your new job. Now it's your turn. Uh... So I got that, it pulled up now. Oh, y'all want to start I'm playing now? Right now? Oh, okay. Alright. All right. That All day, right. an epic dodgeball yeah, match yeah. takes place. The match is so intense, and both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes. By betting part of your charm against part of the other team's leader's charm. That commitment amazes your whole team, and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a bit less fabulous. You just happen to be hanging around near Scott. You know, not because you're like following him or anything. There goes my stream. Okay. When suddenly a rift opens in time and space, a handsome prince steps through, bedecked in otherworldly finery. He approaches Scott. Not this quacks again. Okay, uh, gotta figure out how to voice him. <laughs> As a pretty boy. As a pretty um, boy! <laughs> see, I, I don't know what a, Okay, uh... Okay. Do your military voice on him. My military... Um, no, that does not fit. Yes! <laughs> um, my beloved, I have quested across dimensions to see your face. Oh, well, here it is. Here's my face. It is more than just your face that I need, Scott the Great, tosser of balls. I also need your body. Luckily, I brought that with me, too. But I do not desire to merely gaze upon your body, though that in itself is a pleasure. My kingdom, you see, is besieged by a foul dire harp, and only your muscles can save us. And once the loathsome beast is vanquished, perhaps we can find some other uses for that body of yours. Wink. Oh my god! You say wink out loud too? <laughs> That's so cool! These two are getting along way too well. You need to slay that beast yourself before Scott and the prince spend any more time together. But how? Rally a swarm of extra-dimensional termites to devour the dire harp's spine, or sing so sweetly that the dire harp kills itself out of jealousy. I need help. Um, so the first one's pretty much where you get a bunch of termites to just eat the monster. The second one is where you sing, but you sing so good that the monster actually kills itself because it's jealous of your singing. Personally, if you're trying to get Scott, I think the top one would work, but I, I can be wrong. Oh, Dang it! Not so tiring. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Armed with your termite summoning flute, you dash through the extra dimensional portal before the prince can react. The dire harp looms over the prince's palace, saliva dripping from its terrible strings. 
but in your rush to summon the extra dimensional termites, you fail to notice the dire harp is made of fiberglass, not wood. In fact, nothing in the prince's dimension is made of wood. It's all fiberglass and crystal and polyester. Uh. The closest thing to wood within a thousand miles is you. Whoa, bro! Stop getting eaten by all those termites! Don't you know that's bad for you? But you can't stop, and you won't stop. Meanwhile, Scott and the prince viciously tag-team the dire harp. And afterwards, they totally exchange phone numbers. You'd be super pissed if you weren't so busy being eaten by giant purple termites. You lose minus two boldness and minus one fun. I'm sorry, Skittles. I I, I thought the top one would work because like it's like more it's the physical. Top one. Yeah. Well, no, it's, it was more physical, and the werewolf seems like a physical guy, but the second one's just singing. I don't know. We're gonna do another challenge. He was trying to make. He was trying to stop them, not. He was trying to slap him. Stop them! Stop the villain. No, they were trying to destroy it. Huh. So, but I, oh, okay. Challenge. Everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. A box. Um. A truck. Okay. Player order is decided based on how cool the next indie sensation, selected object knight, would be. Or the hero's main weapon is the selected object. Start debating now. So we have the <laughs> truck knight and the box knight. So that means the truck knight has a truck um, as his main weapon, and the box knight has a box as his main weapon. That's hard, because I think both of them are just so out there, they're so cool. So for me, it's a tie again. Oh, we're also ready, by the way. I, but okay. I mean, if y'all are about done, you can finish it up. Nah, we're we're probably like two thirds of the way. So, um, are you good to? Me. Huh? Just press me first. Then we can exit. No, I, I think it's a tie. I ain't pressing you first. Just press me first. Mine is better than a box. Okay. A okay, box can okay. do anything, but a truck can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we're going to end it here, and we're going to restart. Oh, man, y'all came in pretty late. I know. I was only going to stream for two hours, and it's already like an hour, 18 minutes. Um, but I can stay longer, though. Okay, so... So back gonna, to menu? Yeah. All right. All right, so those of you who are watching, my three viewers, <laughs> um, again, so the two people that we were telling you about, they finally came in. Um, we're going to play with them. Um, as you know, me and Skittles already. But we also have Plague of Kitties and Caitlin. Hello. All right. So I'm going to create one. I'll create the uh, thing. Um, oh, I already. What would you say? I already got it up. The um, multiplayer oh, thing. Oh, okay, okay. We'll just join you then. Uh, what's the what's match the ID? Number? It's zero zero five. Okay. Okay. Um. So real quick, I'm I'm letting y'all say whatever. So if it says something bad that I normally wouldn't allow, y'all can say it. I'm personally going to say quacks whenever I'm saying it. Um. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're definitely doing a short game now. It it was initially going to be full game, but yeah, short game. Sorry. Um. If you want, I can be the narrator. Actually, before yeah. we, before we continue, who's going to be who? Well, actually, wait, wait, wait. we got okay. Ah, oh, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Okay, so who's going to be player one? It's one of the Kates. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. I'll take Fire Girl. 
I'll take one of the guys, but I'll even take a girl if everything. I'll take. I mean, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> someone is yellow. I can do this, Caitlin. Can you click? It's not fun. Let's go. All right. Um. Oh, I'm next. I'll I'll stick with the same guy. Uh, sure. Okay. He's so Dublin core. He's so Dublin coded. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So, um, after this, I guess when we should when it shows all the people, we'll select who we're all gonna uh voice. And we had yet to experience this ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Two weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates. We were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Yeah. Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. <clears throat> Liam D. Lioncourt, 400-something. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Polly Geist, 220-something. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. And Vera Oberlin, 23. A mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Alright, so who wants to voice who? I'll do the hyper chick. The drug one. Oh, you'll do the ghost? Okay. What about... It's kind of hard. Like... So what this means is two people are going to have to, vo are going to, have to voice two characters. Um... Okay. So, Caitlin, you get another one. The ghost and... Well, Did you choose this well Skittles has the ghost. Oh, I thought yeah. that was Caitlin who said the ghost. Um, I'm willing to voice the werewolf. <laughs> That's what I was doing earlier. And um, if, if no one wants to voice a second one, I'll voice a second one too. It doesn't matter. I'll voice the um the pink girl. Okay. I'll voice um the purple guy. Okay, I'll voice. You know what? I'll voice the demon and the werewolf. The demon, I'll use the voice I did earlier for the werewolf. Werewolf will be Hugs' voice. I'll do that. Do you All want right. to voice her? You. Me? I guess I'll voice the green one, too. Alright. <clears throat> it was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? We only had two weeks to choose a prom date. And even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. <laughs> Welcome to Monster Prom's <laughs> stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. <clears throat> Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bull quacks to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom. Maybe you should do it. Mine does say okay. unstable right now. Alright. Mine's good. <laughs> okay. I mean, mine's actually um, good, but first... yesterday my internet was out all day. Alright, so the ID is 034. I wonder if one of our internet fails, does it kick us all out? Could be, because I do know on my end it was messed up. Because it said for me, uh, unstable. It still mm -hmm. says that, dang it, so maybe. Um, Alright. We got two Kates in here. Okay, I'll try to read fast. Uh, the short one. Because <laughs> we're already... I'm already like three quarters through my stream. Ah, oh, Spooky Just High School, the sweetest... Yeah, yeah, skip, yeah, skip through all the way till... Yeah. Now, don't click too fast, because you don't actually click... Alright. Okay. What the heck? 
Cheer go, James. It's not letting me. Oh, no. maybe it's not. Yeah, it's not my turn. Feather friend the feather. First hour of hydrate. Tolls at the bell from the top of your chamber door. Quaff the raven evermore. Raven! Oh, I'm last. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I thought it would be second. Okay. All right, you can skip. Skippity clack. Skippity quacks. Miranda, Damien, Scott, Liam, Polly, and Vera. It was all clear. Skip to, to be the deer. We only had two weeks to choose to skip, skip, skip. But I was already said to skip. <laughs> all right, okay, here's, here here, here's where, yeah. Welcome to Monster Prom Stupidest Pop Quiz Ever. All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bull quacks to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom Stupidest Pop Quiz Ever trademark will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. This way each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. The coolest real oh this is okay. Actually I'll read it for you. Or do you want me to read it for you? <clears throat> yes, please. Okay. The coolest reality show would be people in positions of power must face all sorts of questions relevant to their field, and if they fail, they lose their jobs and society wins. Twelve experts on the various arts of seduction line lie, well, live in a house where they must face a common challenge, seducing a potato into marriage somehow. Eight rich people fight in weekly challenges to see who's the best at giving money to you. I clicked the potato. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of curious about that. I want to see that. Hmm. Be a visionary, what will the next big social media craze be? Robert, from now on, a socially awkward guy named Robert, will do everything he's commanded to do through the app by its users. Greek agoras, like literal Greek agoras, reinstated in our cities. Places where philosophy and arts are discussed by the greater minds. That's social media I want to log into. Bullquacks, it's your regular social network, but each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. And the money goes to the people exposed to that bull quacks. What's funny is like, I know like on TikTok, there's people that actually do the first one. Yeah. Man, I've been wealthy on both of them. Okay. What would be your dream first date? A sweaty and manly wrestling match? An art exhibition exhibition experimental enough to give you a seizure? A professional meeting where you charm your date with some astonishing business advice? Crimes? A lovely walk in the forest after rescuing your date from a dragon? A wild party in international waters? Prop two, stretch like a chocobo. Are you are you trying to redeem the stretch redeem uh, prompt to? <laughs> if so, there's an actual redeem you could use. Welcome back in. <clears throat> I thought he was not speaking. Oh, it's me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I thought he also was not speaking English. This you, Caitlin. I know. Wait, I'm not speaking English. It sounded like you were speaking Simlish. Like, when you were speaking, you were like... Dang it! I didn't catch who popped up for my... Oh. 
Uh, I think you yeah. got, I don't know who, but I got Wolfie. I got the Wolfie. Oh well. Anyways, oh, that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give quacks, but you gain plus two boldness. After you're considering using the bathroom for its intended purpose for once. Only to find all of the stalls occupied by the wolf pack. Oh, great. Your who wants to who wants to read who wants to read these i'll read them if no one wants to um i'll do i it. think I'll... Be better at tony the tiger tiger sorry i heard two people talking uh what'd y'all say i was just saying you'd be better at the tony the tiger okay all right <laughs> now i want a good clean competition and you're all winners just for trying okay what about i'll me? do this one okay thank you <laughs> Bros, the way to be a winner in a pissing contest is to be the winner of the pissing contest. <clears throat> yeah. P-I-S-S-I-I-I-N-G. -I, 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 I don't know if he actually said it. or. I th yeah, I think so. <laughs> Welcome in, Ren Joker. Welcome back in. You'll never see it coming back from Walt's Surprise. Now, that's not quite how it's spelled, but close enough. So maybe you did say it, spell it out loud. Okay. Oh, hey, Fire. Are you here to watch the competition? I love when sports teams get to try different sports. They judge the pee on every level. Color, strength, smell, all the important things about werewolf pee. <laughs> I really hope I win. I'd hate to be a loser in front of my fellow wolves. How can I make sure that my pee is the winningest pee? Caitlin. Drink three times your body weight in yellow food dye to make sure you have the brightest pee. Or the point. best pee was inside you all along. I'll pee too in solidarity. I don't know. I don't Which know. Which one should I take? I don't trust you because you <laughs> I'll pee two in solidarity. Oh. Really? I'm going to have fire beside me. <laughs> this is just a confidence boost I need. Everyone in position. Oh, great. Ready? Set. The wolves begin to pee ferociously, but none more ferociously or peeingly than Scott. This might be because you're standing next to him, doing so badly in comparison. Apparently, you're pee shy and are basically a leaky faucet beside Scott's hurricane. He's declared the winner. <laughs> And you're the ultimate loser. But just when it seems you might be the laughing stock of the whole school. State Police Patrol, I'm pretty good. How are you doing? Let me give you a shout out real quick. Uh oh, it's the popo. It's the popo. My t that's my time to go. Bye. Listen, every or ugh, listen, listen, everyone. It doesn't matter if fire is horrible at peeing. I may be the actual winner, but everyone is a winner in their hearts and in their bladders. <laughs> everyone applauds. Scott winks at you. It is the wink of someone whose friendship with you, or maybe more, is blossoming. You're doing good, State? That's good to hear. You gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Now it's time okay. for Oz, the Wizard of Oz. Let's see. How's your night going? My night's going pretty good. Can't complain. Playing with some friends on Monster Prom. How about you, State? Oh, you said you're doing good. It's good to hear. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You oh, have no idea. Was... 
you have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. Heck yeah. Nice. You're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Polly. Hey baby, let's party. <laughs> <laughs> how can you refuse such a formal missive? You track her down immediately. Ooh, state what game are you watching? Okay. <clears throat> hey, you got my text. That's good. Cause I need some help brainstorming. I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be late, and that needs to change. <clears throat> See, it's a costume party. No where everyone dresses up as their favorite humans. I'm going to be a sexy tax eternity. But I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney can be shared this party from the debt, debts of the lady etude. So... Got any ideas to help spice things up? Oh, you've got some <clears throat> ideas, and they're the spiciest. Spike the punch with mandrake root. It turns monsters into actual humans. Or, okay, you go as a sexy tax attorney. I'll go as a sexy tax evader. Hmm. Later that night at the party. <laughs> this is nuts. Look at all these humans in human costumes. Georgina, the party out there, totally just turned into a Soma Rambler. And Larry, the lecher, looks exactly like the former United States President, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Larry doesn't look... Larry doesn't just look like Lincoln. He is Lincoln. He has all of Lincoln's memories up to the moment of his death. Oh, gosh. Every newly transformed human at the party comes complete with a full lifetime of memories. A childhood family... A, a childhood, family, friends... They have no recollection of their lives as a monster and are all currently going insane from the cognitive dissonance. <laughs> Many the minutes in our um, decor that turned into a retired cop who screamed for his estranged wife and two sons. Pranked. In about four hours, all of these newly created people were, will revert to their previous forms, essentially murdering these new identities. LOL. In the meantime, you and Polly have a great time scaring the quacks out of actual humans and streaming it online. You gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. You're going to have to tap. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. You see Damien about to punch some noob when suddenly a dimensional portal opens between the two of them. Hey, what the hell? I was about to punch that noob. Who wants to voice this guy? <laughs> um, I can if you want. Yes. <clears throat> right. There will be plenty of noobs to punch, my fearsome paramour, when you are mine. I like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I have traveled across time and space to find a fit commander for my armies and for my bedroom. Oh, you want me to come over to your kingdom so we can kill people and quacks? I wouldn't put it quite so crassly. Well, I would, and that sounds doper than hell, which isn't hard because hell is lame, but still. But if Damien goes to another dimension to quacks and kill people, how will he quacks and kill people with you? There's only <laughs> one thing to do. Defeat the prince's entire oh. quacks army using nothing but a colander and a grapefruit. Show Damien a picture of the prince's armies wearing some clown shoes. And quacks chaps. <laughs> mm -hmm. And just a heads up, y'all can cuss. I'm just personally not going to cuss. So. Oh, God. Um, this one's a hard one. Oh. oh! Armed with your trusty colander helm and furious grapefruit, you charge through the rift. And directly into a fully armed battalion of extra-dimensional orcs. They spent the next several hours cutting you up and feeding you to yourself. Oh my god. Jesus. When you finally manage to piece your body back together and make it home, Damien is already drawing up battle plans with the prince. No. Dude, your army is so incredibly sick. Did you see what they did to that pathetic loser with the grapefruit? Oh my god. Oh my god. I did, my love. I did indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go into this battle with nothing but a kitchen implement and a piece of fruit? Why didn't you bring weapons? You lose minus oh two God. fun and minus one boldness. I'm actually excited for your new character. That's crazy. Huh? I'm excited for your new D&D character. Like, just hearing how you voiced uh, this guy. <laughs> there we go. My turn. All right. Uh, Jim. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. Oh, I said I was going to voice her, right? Okay, I, I think so, her. yeah. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Right back. Sigh. What was me, Sigh. Could Miranda possibly be doing this because she wants attention? Only one way to find out. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there as I was standing here, suffering gallantly in silence. She did, and she wasn't, but okay. At the most tragic injustice befall me earlier this morn. I was rejected from our school's water polo team. They claimed I was mistaken about or how polo is conducted underwater. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. How is one even supposed to play water polo without a heavily armored seahorse as a mount? How, I ask you. Perhaps I offended them when I implied they were too impoverished impoverished to afford sea beasts or sea steeds. If so, why, I would love to make reparations. But it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind to take them at, or take them the gift of this omelette to begin the healing? I am told that peasants consider eggs to be a delicacy. Um, obviously. What would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of... Toppings, caviar, eel, chocolate-covered sand crabs. They'll never forget this was a present from a mer princess. An elegant stenciled card... With their sincerest apologies, a list of all their fears, and a bundle of compromising photographs. <laughs> what? Uh, I want you to oh, talk. I... Oh my god! <sighs> it was obviously the second one. No, I... I thought it was the first one. I thought it was the first one, yeah. No, we couldn't possibly. Seafood and an omelet? Oh. For pests? These poor souls may never have tasted egg before. Now it's making more sense it is the bottom one. <laughs> My goodness. Some may have mere millions of dollars to their name. Who knows the last time they had any food at all? Surely their taste buds would be overwhelmed by anything suited for the delicate palate of myrrh royalty. Let us first introduce them to the taste of pure egg. 
Miranda waves you on your way to make your omelet delivery. Wait, you still have to deliver this omelet. And Miranda isn't even impressed with you. Oh man. You lose minus two fun and minus one smarts. That going, of course I do. Let's trade places. Oh, Skittles has to do this. Oh, I think she's coming back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, just in time. Let's we should do a challenge. All right, okay. let's do it. What are you biting? Uh, okay. Skittles, are you going to click it? or? Oh, sorry. I don't Everybody <laughs> chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Transformers. Dang it! Thrawn. Avatar. Wait, what did you say, Kate? Which Avatar? <clears throat> Avatar. Oh, no, Kayla, what did you say? You said Tron? Yeah. Okay. And Skittles, what do you say? Um, what's the guy that, uh, says Hasta la Vista? Terminator. Uh, that's specifically yeah, Terminator, Terminator 2. Okay. I say Terminator. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. Player order is decided based on how bizarre an action figure based on a selected movie would be. Start debating now. Hmm. Oh, God. What did you say, James? Transformers. Yours is not out at all because I think the whole movie is based off of an action figure. That's the thing, yeah. So I definitely lost this one. Um, but Terminator should, also I'm... isn't bizarre because there's action figures of Terminator. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's action figures of all of it. But I, but we do have to choose one. I feel like it's between Tron and Avatar. Now, which Avatar are you talking about? Like the blue people or like the earth, fire, water, air? Uh, blue people. Okay. I feel like it's got to be between Avatar and Tron. There probably is action figures. Actually, yeah, there is action figures of y'all, but not as many as Terminator or Transformers. I feel like I'd much rather look at an avatar of one or uh, uh um action figure of one of the avatars than a guy on a bike so kayla's pretty much voting for herself gotcha it says we have to debate i know i'm, I'm just confirming what you're saying yeah i'm, I'm voting for myself decided to based on how bizarre a action figure based on the selection movie would be I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure McDonald's came out with action figures for Tron <laughs> in Happy Meals. Yeah. But you know what? They Avatars. What do you think, James? That's hard. It's, man. Because I think Caitlin's right. I think I remember that actually uh, happening for Tron. And plus, Specifically Tron want, Legacy. Um, a lanky, half-naked, blue action figure person. You. That's true, <laughs> but not me. I, if I had to guess, I'm going to go with Avatar. I think it's more bizarre. Cause I think too. I think Tron is a little more cool, so it means it's less bizarre. Hey, hold on just a second. Because you get a bike. Hello. With <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Skittles? I would have to say mine or yours because they're both yeah. bizarre too. Really? So you're saying Transformers or Terminator? Yes. Okay. James is. Um, I think that means uh, Caitlin wins because Caitlin has two votes. Kayla has one, and Skittles has one. So, Caitlin, if you're I had blue, to guess right? random. He. Let's just be random. Well, no, Caitlin won, so it's blue. Yeah. So blue is first. Things to say, and I'll say it. Now, personally, second. second, I would say it would be uh, Kayla. So Oz. Yeah, I'll let you go. Now, between third and fourth, I'd say probably mm -hmm. Sk Skittles is third. I think mine is last place. Well, 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 we didn't really debate it. I feel it. like little boys would argue. Well, okay. Oh, sorry. 
Yeah, you just clicked. As I was saying it, I was just telling you what I thought. <laughs> My bad. I'd kick your butt in this. Rez, why were you holding uh, Kayla hostage? She was like over an hour late for my stream. How you doing, Rez? I'm going to give you a shout out even though I'm angry I like at hot you. Dog water. Freaking hot Rez. Dog. I like hot You don't like hot dog water? Never. She was supposed to be here at like a certain time. And because of you. Oh, sorry. No sooner have you sat down at Damien and Miranda's table than a haunting melody fills the air. It is a melody of cold northern peaks, of cloying sweetness, of a supple bovine treat. The song of... The Ice Cream Wizard. He's here. He's here. I'm going to eat so much ice cream and then puke on someone I don't like. Oh, goodness. The Ice Cream Wizard only comes but once per solstice during the hour of the Ascendant Pancake. You see an old dude in a floppy blue hat pushing a refrigerated cart with this quacks magic painted on the side. Ugh, so many great options to choose. Should I get a magma bar? Brain destroyer? Chocolate boomstick? What about fear of death? A frozen cobra? Berserker berry blitz? Oh yeah, Rez? The wizard's frozen treats invariably turned me into a frog for some reason. Perhaps I simply have not tried the right one yet. But which to try? If only someone would suggest a solution to what is truly the most difficult problem I have ever faced. Try those sugar <clears throat> bastard prince lips. Beat him up and take all his ice cream. Oh, of course. Borish. Did someone say bull rush? No, I said boorish, as in lacking social... Ah, oh, I see. You did not mishear me after all, but we're simply looking for an excuse to beat up the ice cream wizard. Joke's on you, Miranda. I'm never not looking for an excuse to beat up the ice cream wizard. <laughs> Look at all this ice cream I got. This one lets you breathe underwater, and this one licks you. Or licks you. You brigand. You thief. I got you some sugar bat based prince lips. My reservation suddenly seemed to have vanished. Good, because I want to try this popsicle. The stick is supposed to reveal how I'm going to die. Huh? Who knew my death would involve so many bottlenose dolphins? <laughs> to celebrate the ice cream heist, Damien takes you to the beach and doesn't even try to drown you. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. You approach Scott and Polly's table to find them crouched behind a pile of jelly desserts, plotting. Thanks, Bruce, if you're here, bro. Come on, join our huddle. <laughs> Maybe a cave, but a huge pile of jelly jam. Gelatinous. Jelly, gelatinous dessert cups. We were wondering, well, wonder no more. We're going, we're going for the jelly prize. Yeah, we're going to win it. If we collect the foil cover of a hundred jelly desserts, we will be the lucky winners of... Okay. One free jelly! Hold on. Blank. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. I'm sorry. Okay. No. But right yeah. now we're stuck. We've only got 99. That means we need... We need... One more, Scott. Oh. We need one more. We need one more. You give them your jelly dessert, but you already threw it at a bird person you hate. Guess you've got to make a choice. <clears throat> Steal the final jelly dessert from the jelly dessert factory, or make like a puppy dog and beg. All things are sweeter when achieved through pity. But is it still in wrong? 
Whoa. Uh, Skittles? Um, give me a second. My dog just pressed a button and turned off both of my computers. <laughs> okay. Um. No. Uh. I cannot read. No, Scott. That's a myth. Like hangovers and afterlives. But if the afterlife isn't real, why are you a ghost? There's no time for metaphysics. Myth metaphysics, Scott. We got our heist to plan. No, Coach says stealing is wrong, unless you are still in a ball or a base or victory from the jaws of defeat. Actually, it seems like sports is mostly about stealing. Well, that said of the time for stealing. One fake bus, one real wooly mammoth, and a brutal running gun battle later, you finally secure one illicit jelly cup. What you turn in, along with your 99 other jelly cups, for one free jelly cup. Scott is too upset by all the violence, so you split your free jelly cup with Polly. Worth it. Let's do it! Oh, crap. Um... You're just trying to enjoy a meal in peace when space untwists itself to reveal the interdimensional prince. Greetings, my love. <clears throat> Most glorious hero, thank you for the squid star I found you. Oh, thank the squid star I found you. I must have... I have... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> having a stroke, sorry. <laughs> I have been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. A riddle that has vexed me for days, nay, weeks. The riddle of how to change the ringtone on my new smartphone. This interface is more torturous than my palace labyrinth. For real? You grab the prince's phone, change his ringtone to butts, 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 all about those butts, by the booty bros. <laughs> 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 what? I hear what seems difficult to me is trivial to you, and you even guessed which ringtone I desired, a true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There is only one way I can repay you, by bestowing upon you a superpower of your choice. I can do that. I'm the prince of another dimension. I can do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about. All kinds of crazy things besides use his fall, apparently. And he really only gives you two superpower options. Telepathy? <laughs> and quacks that won't quit. Oh my god. The prince whacks you on the head with his telepathy rod, granting you access to the minds of others. Alright, State, you take it easy. Thanks for uh, popping in. Right in the middle of a high school cafeteria at lunchtime. You are overwhelmed with images. A goblin's butt problems, a genie's foot fetish, two swamp creatures imagining each other naked. It's too much. You plead with the prince to downgrade your ability to telepathy, but only when you're drunk. <laughs> Very well. Your wish is my command. Perfect. Now you have an excuse to get drunk before every quiz. Until now, it was just regular alcoholism. You gain plus four <laughs> smarts, despite the loss of brain cells. Okay, there we go. I like your character who says, mmm, sure. Alright. You approach Liam and Vera's table to find them thoughtfully tasting several glasses of wine. The school has literally no rules, apparently. Who's voicing Oh. 
Ah, uh, wine. That most exclusive of beverages. Even a vampire such as myself cannot resist its class and allure. Oh, that was me? Yeah. Do you know a lot about wine, then? I'm having dinner with the King of France next week, and I could use some pointers. France doesn't have a king anymore. That's what the media wants you to think. So do you know about wine or not? It's just emos. <laughs> they are. That's why they're babies. Alas, in my centuries of living, I have only learned how to look good holding wine, not how to evaluate it. All I know, or all I know, is that I'm not drinking another glass of that one. Vera points at a bottle with Polly's Toilet Wine written on it in permanent marker. Welcome in, great pull up, by the way. Let me give you a shout out real quick. How you doing? Oh, is this D and D esque? Kind of, I would say. I see the stats on the side. Yeah. What I wouldn't give for an experienced sommelier to help us judge which wine is best. You know nothing about wine, but you're pretty sure most sommeliers just make stuff up anyway. You suavely recommend. Try the sangria. It pairs well with seafood and blood. The tannins in this robust Malbec are an elegant way to mask the taste of poison. Perfect for diplomatic missions. Hmm. It pairs with the seafood and the blood. Well, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna actually. I'm actually, I'm actually. I'm actually do the bottom one. Great or gay? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to disguise the taste of? Oh. You're going to poison someone. Of course you are. You're always poisoning people. Quiet. No, I'm not. People in no way directly associated with me are always poisoning people, and soon they will strike again. France has suffered under its unjust king for too long. Plus, he called me fat at a party once when I was eleven. That's a big no-no. Who is this king you keep talking about? I'm telling you, France doesn't have a king anymore. Soon, Liam. Soon. Vera is so thankful to you for solving her assassination problem, she lets you braid her snakes. You get bit a few times, <laughs> but it's so, so worth it. Um, do challenges I was, again? I would say let's do random this time. We'll, we'll go back and forth. Like, the next time we random, the time after that will be challenged. We'll do random this time. If you're okay with that, yeah. <laughs> Great Plup says quality voiceovers in this game. Thanks. Yeah, it's me, Skittles, Cotton, Candy, Plague of Kitties, and Caitlin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to the bath. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. <clears throat> While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so bold, you would kill a tiny, big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. What the heck? That monster sack would instantly give you plus 500 boldness. What? <laughs> but come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You can keep plus two boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. You're welcome, Great Plug. As you enter the bathroom, you notice that there's something a little different about it. Specifically, the different thing is that it is on fire. <laughs> oh man, can you believe it? The bathroom just randomly caught fire for no reason. On the wall, you notice graffiti reading, Scott is more swole than Damien 5 ever. But surely this is unrelated. <laughs> Quacks, dude. <laughs> I can't get the tension again. I have an urgent appointment with someone. And by that I mean my fists have an urgent appointment with their face. I appreciate it, prompt dude. More chocobos cheer you on from Nitrogen to watch you both play games. It's just like a chocobo. And if my fists can't make that appointment. 
Damien cracks his knuckles. Better think of a way to save him. Call Scott and have him <sighs> pee it out. If there's one thing we know about Scott, it's that he loves to pee on things. Or, if you burn down the whole school, no one will be worrying about one little bathroom. Also, I just got an idea for care. This... Oh my uh, god! Fight fire with fire? Uh. Right! Because if the entire school is destroyed by unholy demonic fire, there's no way they would think it's me, right? Looks like there's no way out. Time to resort to senseless violence. Hang on. I'm getting a memo. It's from my secretary, Elbows. <laughs> What's that, Elbows? My next appointment is here. Have Riss send them in. Oh my god. As lovely and welcoming as Elbows and Riss have been, your appointment with Fist is not very fun. You lose minus two fun and minus one boldness. You're zero fun. Okay, enough. I'm just gonna start like choosing the one that I don't think it is. <laughs> I probably should do it. It's the same. so easy to tell with other people. I know. Oh. Oh, you miss me and my quacks, huh? Worry no more. All this quack can be yours if you have the money. Not me, though. And I'm aware it might say something Hi. differently on y'all's end. So mine says, Hi, stranger. It's been a while. I missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. Oh, you had an easier one. Okay. <laughs> so if you guys want to read what you... You don't want cancer. For real. It has, like, cancer in it, like, three times. I'm going to take them out. Dang. Yeah, mine says... Oh, never mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, uh... so, so the Great Plup, I usually run a family-friendly stream. Um, now, the other three people that I'm playing with, they're allowed to say it. But I'm not going to. So, I'm trying to kind of keep up a little bit with how I normally do things. Plus, saying quack every time is kind of funny anyway. It's like uh, the song by... Or, what's his name? There's a song called What It's Like. I forgot his name. The censored version of that song is hilarious. So. Oh, my turn. But your title says 18 plus. Yes, great plus, because the other three people will still say the stuff. I won't. Uh, oh, Jim. That day an epic dodgeball match. Wait, wait. I already chose this, didn't I? Dang it. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she attempts to throw a ball at herself. What? You explain to her the many ways you think she's unique and wonderful, while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reasons to keep playing, and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain plus one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so that's beautiful friendship, and take place off-screen, and plus two charm. That's sad. <laughs> oh, it's all good, uh, great plot. <laughs> you notice Polly bent over her phone while Miranda tries to peek over her shoulder. Something really interesting must be going on on Polly's phone. When you get closer, though, you see that Polly's just on a horny dating app, trademark, again, swiping right on everybody. Miranda seems entranced, though, and a little worried. What? What did you say this is- or this was called again? Hor horny da- Horny dating app. And it is an app for finding true love? Um... Sure. But- But I never knew. I've spent countless hours going to royal balls and kissing frogs and pretending to be in a magical slumber. When I could simply have been using this app? I mostly just use it for collection dick pics. What are these dick pics? Tokens of affection? Oh, alas. To be so far behind in my quest for love. I'm 19 years old, practically an old maid, and only now learning of this? Oh, how will I ever make up for lost time? 
Don't worry, I'll coach you in the mysterious ways of horny dating app trademark. You'll have a whole harem in no time. You still don't have horny dating app? Why should you worry about horny dating app when you can actually own horny dating app? Why don't you just buy the entire company? Hmm. <laughs> Great pub, yeah. There we go. Uh, Kayla? You got for me? <laughs> oh, good. I have so many questions. What does DTF mean? Does that muscular chest in this picture have a head attached? Or did this man take the picture like that to hide his headlessness? Why do so many of the profiles use the eggplant emoji? I shall appoint you my royal advisor in charge of horny dating app TM adventures. <laughs> TM. <laughs> Your first task will be to take some very hot selfies of me. Yeah, great plup, yeah. You're not sure Miranda knows what selfie means, but you're not complaining. You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. All right. Oh. Then we have Oz. <laughs> that day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. I wonder if I should have quacks that out. Your performance is intense no, but... and inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> it will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. <clears throat> On your way out, you spot Polly still wearing the lab coat she stole from that human party the other night. She takes it off and throws it at you to get your attention. Yo, yo, yo! That human party convinced me I want to be a scientist, but not just any kind of party scientist. <clears throat> What's a party? Part, I said party. Holy crap. What's a party scientist? Yes? Why just a scientist? Who decides to discover the secret of the raddest? Party. Although a series of extreme uh, scientific experiments, I am aim to discover what extremely makes a party good. So I can still distill whatever. It is into a vow and drink it, or you know, just have really dope parties at all the time. Anyway, I'm going to the bar. Mint something tonight, and I need your sensitivity. Mm. But, what can we do to push this party over the edge? The electric slide, but with actual electricity. Or chemistry. Mmm, this one's hard. Electric. Oh, yeah. Don't listen to me. I'm just being dumb. I'm actually not sure. If you think it's that one, choose the other one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that yeah. one. I'm telling you, and if this is right, this is what I'm doing for the rest of the game. Mm. Later that night. <clears throat> Skittles. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look at them too. I don't know why I even thought of it before. Yeah. It's just basic science. No. Zeus, get down. Get off. Life King gives life to a Frankenstein. A Frankenstein is a stitched together mass of sexy, vulnerable lace. Which is also a party. Lightning is the life of the pot. What's mm. that? You want to know what the bar mint zeba boy is? I don't know. I don't know any of those. <laughs> Crashing bar mitzvahs, the height of party culture. You have so much fun, you forget to tell Polly she should have said Frankenstein's monster. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Oh yeah, great plot. Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls. Mm. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh, great. I hope I don't hurt anybody's feelings. Let's do this. Let's do this. Weekend time. You're with Miranda, Liam, Green, and Blue in Liam's apartment. Uh-oh. Because tonight is game night. Ooh. <clears throat> who, who voiced this guy? Oh, yeah. Damien and Scott are late. How surprising. Ring. Hey guys. <clears throat> we brought a friend. We hope it's okay, Liam. She's totally cool and into board games. Her name is Al Olga. <laughs> you do realize we can all see that it's just a huge owl bear poorly disguised as a high schooler, right? Rude! Yeah, Liam, you don't see us accusing you of being a huge owl bear poorly disguised as a high schooler. Sky's technically right. We haven't done that. Therefore, I feel inclined to trust him. Whatever. Can we play some games? Heck yeah! Hello? And before you even try, no, Miranda, we're not playing your version of Risk, where you start with a huge underwater empire. It didn't sound funny, and it turned out to be completely unfunny. Uh, what about... No, not werewolf either. We won't play that until you learn you're the, you're the werewolf only when you get the werewolf card, and not just always. Right, we should totally play. Not cards against monster kind, Damien. It requires no strategy nor skills aside from making vulgar jokes. We get it. You like it because it's totally wrong. Today we're enjoying a refined and complex Euro game. And you know it's a Euro game because we'll spend more time learning the rules than actually playing. It's called Chess 2. It includes deception, dice, deck building, an, a an auction system, dozens of figurines, and hexagonal title placement. Tile placements. <laughs> wow, that one's a lot. Yeah. Oh. After three hours of learning the rules and an extra hour for proper setup, you start playing. Oh my god, that sounds like D&D. <laughs> but it isn't long before more Olga starts wreaking havoc and destroying everything. It's like more D and D in here. Yeah, this is not nice. Okay, okay, brace yourselves. Olga might actually be a wild owl bear disguised as a high schooler. We thought it would be cool to sneak a wild owl bear into game night because of reasons. 
sorry. We thought it would be super nice and inclusive for owl bears. My apartment, my beautiful and minimalistically decorated apartment, is being destroyed. Also, is she somehow winning? You said that word <laughs> so good. <laughs> minimalistically. She is. You need to save game night. But how will you subdue a wild owl bear? The only logical way seems to be by beating her at chess too. But she's kind of super good at it. What? It will take two proficient tabletop gamers to beat the owl bear. You know you kick quacks, but which of your friends is also amazing at tabletop games? Green. What? Is the best at games. He plays Russian Pictionary once a month. And if he is still out alive, that only can mean he always wins. Or Blue is a legend among board game players. She is one of the three survivors of the Monopoly game night of 98, which escalated from a technicality on a dice roll to one of our saddest national tragedies, but with victims in the two digits. That's okay, cool. I'm closing my eyes for this, okay? Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, great plug. Hold on, okay. You join forces with Blue, and together you are... Sorry, Blue. <laughs> Not very good, actually. <laughs> Sorry. What the heck are you doing? That doesn't seem like a smart strategy. Oh. And I'm pretty sure those tokens you're using aren't even from this game. You're, like, really, really bad. <laughs> okay, so according to this card you drew, now you and Blue have to roam the forest in search of three golden berries. Caitlin? That's weird. There aren't any forest tiles in chess, too. Sorry, I'm watching Gaia play the cat TV, so I'm distressed. Sorry. Oh, okay. I put her, I put cat TV on for her and now she's like playing with it. But sorry, anyway, I read yeah I read that. No, no, I'm pretty sure it means roaming the actual forest in search of three actual golden berries. Ha! Lame. The rules are the rules. Blue, please leave my house and go roam the forest. You spend <laughs> the rest of the night looking for those stupid golden berries. It is anything but fun. You and Blue hear the distant laughter of your classmates, and you both lose minus two boldness and minus one fun. <laughs> let's trade places. I'm bad. All right, let's do a challenge this time. Okay. Player order is decided based on your ability to mimic the noise a giraffe makes. What? Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in last place. <laughs> like, um, I don't what? Like, I don't know. We're gonna have to Google it. No, no, you can't, you can't. No, you can't Google it. No. We gotta Google it afterwards at, to at, see who was close. To yeah, I thought you were talking about Google it now. Hold no. on, Kayla. <laughs> She's still looking it up. <laughs> I'm. We're just waiting on Skittles. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm. What kind of noise really would a giraffe make? I imagine it's close to a horse, so kind of like. Huh. I'm still sticking with. I'm just like that. Or and I'm sticking to. Mm. Look, she's enjoying that. Mm hmm. Um. Oh, yeah, God. I don't know. Okay, well, let's find it out. Let's find out. Apparently, I've watched this video before. Yo, that was pretty close to me, guys. I thought it was close to James. Oh, yeah, it is close to James. Too long for the. Are we. Why? Nearly up to Why? the like Were y'all able to hear it? No, I was I was looking at another video, but so who was it close to? I think it's close to yours. And what did you like? 
I'd do it. I was like, no, years ago. I went now. I went now. Well, Kayla, since you heard you're the one who looked at the video, you get to decide who won and all that. I mean, I think you won. Do yours again? <laughs> I don't feel like that's what you did. Oh, uh, it was. because no, he was like, it sounds. Horse. It was a little. It was a little lighter. Where it was like hey, 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 like that. But I did say it sounds like a horse. I imagine. Isn't that what he did? Yeah. Um, oh, wait, you're talking about the first one that I kind of just made up. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, pretty, that one was the closest. Yeah, that was like <laughs> something like that. Yeah, it was something crazy. How was that? The oh my god. Okay. Actual dr <laughs> Who's um Can you hear again? Sorry, there's a lot of people talking at the same time. I don't know what any of y'all said. So who's who? Um I'm green. So are I'm you green first? Yes. Wow, okay. So who else do you think? I feel like maybe you for two. Yeah. I think it's a uh, Caitlin. Okay. I don't care. So though. Caitlin, second. That's mm -hmm. blue, right? Yeah. I don't think Sorry. I would. Play. You can say Skittles I'm... because uh, they did the whole. They kind of winnied like James did or Dole did. Well, it definitely don't sound like a horse. I think you were the farthest off, so I think um, Oz in fourth, and then Fire in third. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I like that. Uh... We'll do outdoors. That day during recess, you start a half-hour raid that goes full crazy. You spot Juan, the small magical Latino cat, who seems a bit sad. He explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small magical Latino cat, that now everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms, in convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different Juans in the school. So adding all that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain plus two fun. You notice Miranda hunched over her phone, chewing on her lower lip. She seems nervous about something. You siddle over and ask what's up. Is that supposed to be slide? I think so, but I don't know. Is siddle a word? I I don't know. Sidle. Sidle? Yeah, it's sidle up. Is that a word? Yeah, like you sidle up to him. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't know it that. is. Okay. Oh. Well, my royal advisor, thank Poseidon you're here. I'm lost. My adventures in hoarding, horny dating app, TM, have yielded a suitor, but he behaves like no suitor I've ever had before. He has not given me his full name and family titles. He has not sent me an elephant laden with golden jewels. He has sent me only a single word. Hey. <laughs> hey? Hey? What does it mean? There's no punctuation, no capitalization, only th three curious letters. H. E. Y. How can I possibly respond when I do not even know if his father is rich? <laughs> Please, my loyal advisor, what should I write in response to this most cryptic of missives? Let's face it, Miranda, you're still not used to the very complex customs of horny date and naptium. Maybe you should try mimicking the natives. You should go with, hey. Or, marry whatever he meant by that, this is your opportunity to stay the higher ground as the societal elite that you are. 
see his bet and raise it with a more refined hey. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Oh wow. This point is at TV. This is Caitlin TV. <laughs> um, Kayla? Oh. Of course. It is just like the old saying. When in Atlantis, do as the Romans do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do what the Atlanteans do because they all died. Whatever he sen sends to me, I'll send right back. Oh, now he's saying sup. So must or he must be inviting me to dine. I too <laughs> shall say. <laughs> and now he has sent me a picture of a penis. I shall send him a penis in return. Oh God, Twitch, please don't kick me. <laughs> this is going splendidly. <laughs> hmm. Now he says, WTH. What could that mean? Oh, of course. WTH must stand for what a terrific honor. <laughs> I shall, re shall reply, with indeed. What? What the heck indeed? No, oh, <laughs> what the hell indeed? <laughs> I think I'm wooing him. I think he will soon be wooed. Your advice truly is the best. Miranda thinks you're great. And she's probably not going on a date with this guy. Double score. You gain plus two smarts and plus one charm. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. I want a popsicle. Good it's a uh, that day you're the first one in class. You sometimes come early because you enjoy talking to the teacher. He's a bit bitter, but in a cool way. He treats you like an adult, and the two of you discuss life and stuff in a very snarky way. Look at you, exhaling at cliched movie tropes. You gain plus two smarts and plus one valuable life insight that will help you face the difficulties of being young. Part way through class, you break up into groups. You notice Damien by himself at a desk, thinking hard. Damien? Oh, Damien does not want me. <laughs> <laughs> Damien, thinking hard? In class? You ask him what's up. <clears throat> it's just a stupid writing assignment. I'm supposed to write two pages on a destructive tool that's better than fire. <clears throat> better than fire? What's better than fire? Fire's my thing. My whole brand. I swear, Miss Demon Slayer's got it in for me. What am I supposed to write about? <laughs> you never thought you'd see the day when Damien would ask your advice about destructive tools, but you've been preparing none of the less. You tell him. None of the less. More fire or sarcasm? Oh my god. Well, you did try the whole fi fire with fire earlier. Yeah. Let's go! Okay. Oh, yeah, right! Nice try! Wait! Cracks! <laughs> I didn't even mean to be sarcastic just then. I was just being quacks! The sarcasm. I can't stop it. It's spreading through me like. like. like wildfire! No! I never realized the true power of irony! Maybe try freaking out about it more. That'll help. Ah, Liam, no, it hurts. Stop being insinc insincere. <laughs> oh, you had a stroke. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I didn't know if I said that word wrong. Ah! Damien writes his entire paper on sarcasm and uses Liam as a visual aid. For your assistance, you gain plus two money and plus one smarts. You're getting a lot of smarts. <laughs> I've noticed I that. know. Yeah. I mean, and then half the time you lose it. <laughs> 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 that.
That day you skipped class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. Hello? Hmm. Can someone, uh, click? Whoever's supposed to click. Skittles? <laughs> Skittles? <laughs> Skittles, are you there? I mean, she just clicked for the bathroom. Um, Skittles, you there? I mean, she just clicked. Uh -oh. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Can, can you hear us? Like, yeah, I was like saying, Dolan, hello. Oh, yeah, we, we thought you left because, like, you didn't click. If I left the game, would it have already ended? Well, no, not left the game, but, like, you left your room or something. Oh, no, I clicked. Well, would you like to click again? Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't hear you. So I was like, Dolan, you can help me out. <laughs> But you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Who the quacks runs security here? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've totally gained plus two boldness. <clears throat> Thank you. Scott's also in the bathroom, and he seems upset. <clears throat> I got Marissa's hugs. I just don't know what's wrong with my pee. <laughs> oh, great. Not as pee. I mean, I've been peeing in the same stall for months now, and other people still use it. Can't they smell my pee? They don't know this stall is my territory. I mean, I peed all over the stall, every inch. Oh, God. Ew! Do you think I have weak pee? No. No way. My pee is strong. I just need to figure out the right way to use it. If you were me, how would you use your pee to claim this bathroom stall? Put a curse on the stall that releases vicious demons to devour any intruders. It'll be a hell of a prank. Or... I'd stand next to the stall and pee on anybody who tried to go in. I already like the bottom one, but I don't know if that's the correct answer. Oh! It was. Why didn't I think of that? It's so obvious. People are still using my stall because they don't know that it's my pee. Like, I know not everybody sense a smell that's as strong as mine. So to help them out, I'll just stand outside the stall and pee on them a little every time they go in. Just to remind them whose stall it is. Dang, oh. you click fat. Okay, looks like I read fast. I don't even need to pee on them. I can just pee in front of them while making friendly eye contact. What? I'm so sorry. I was like, I didn't mean to press the fast button. Okay, I was, like, I was trying to hurry up because I remember what the last part was. Everyone will be so relieved to have the confusion cleared up. I'll let everyone know this was your idea, so they'll know who to thank. <laughs> to what? Oh, great. This might not turn out too well, but you'll cross that bridge when you come to it. You gain plus two boldness and plus one charm. Right. Oz. That day you spend some time on the library's PCs, mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any quacking idea how it really works. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to plus two million dollars. <clears throat> which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so plus two money. In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly hatching yet another scheme. You sneak a little closer so you can eavesdrop. Listen, this has been a fruitful partnership so far in terms of making people look like imbeciles. But I think it's time we monetize. 
sick burns don't buy fresh outfits. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I guess I could use some thongs or whatever, but like... I don't want to stop making people look dumb so we can make money. And I don't want to sell out. Personally, I can't wait to sell out. We have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. The question, of course, is how do we do both? Yeah. How do we get rich off Yuki people off chain? Ugh. Careful with your choice of words, Polly. What? Chaining are the big, big thing for ghosts. Of course. They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. Maybe you can offer a solution. Why don't you make up a phony workout craze? It worked for Frank Pilots, the inventor of Pilots. Is it Pilates or Pilots? Pilates. Okay. It worked out for Frank Pilates, the inventor of Pilates. Oh man, do I have a great prank for you. I call it stealing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Dealing? What? Never heard of it. Who have you been talking to? Who are you working for? I'll have you know that all my activities are perfectly legal. Yeah, mine too. Are you a cop? You have to tell me if you're a cop. Vera, I don't think they're buying it. Roger that, Polly. On the count of three. One, two, three. And like that, they're gone. And so is your wallet. You lose minus one fun and, oh yeah, minus oh two my. money. Wow. I actually get sad when we lose, even if it's not me. All right, we'll do random this time. Okay. If you're all okay with that, yeah. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> you're yes and oh, no. Oh, no. The die is cast. And I'm just eating food. <laughs> oh. You arrive at Polly and Vera's table to find them eating. Wait, both of them? Oh, yum yum. Oh, yum yum. I sure did love food eating. Look at this food going me. Mm, yes, this cafeteria sloppy Joe truly has a suitable flavor profile. Finally, you notice the cause of this absurdity. A well-dressed businessman sitting at the next table, watching both women intently. Oh, yeah. I know you like this, baby. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know you like this, baby. I mean, it's realistic and... Erotic. Er erotic? Be cool, Polly. The man wants to pay us for eating in front of him, not screaming about eating. Is this not what eating is? I forgot. While Vera tries to explain eating to Polly, the businessman shyly approaches you and gives a small bow. Much obliged, friend, he says in a soft voice. That was not a soft voice. Are these two fine ladies your friends? I must confess that I have searched far and wide for a suitable candidate to fulfill my rather unusual fetish. Ew. Paying a student at a high school for monsters to eat food while I watch politely from a distance. Yeah, that's weird. But I find myself unable to choose which of these two beauties to hire. The snake-headed one possesses a certain grace. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Pay me, motherfucker. <laughs> Pay me to do it. I'm going to do anyway. 
But the, but the translucent one has such passion. Oh crap. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you sure about this? No, y'all y'all can go ahead. Hold on, I have to look through my door's case. I don't even want the money. This is just too weird, and I love it. In your opinion, <laughs> the businessman finishes, which would be the wiser choice on my part? Move? Leave? The Gorgon, obviously. Look how many mouths she's got on her head. Or the ghost, for sure. I've never seen someone eat so convincingly. Oh. I don't know which one you're going for, but... I would say the bottom one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the businessman nods... But those are just going for who you want. Like, the Gorgon would have given you, like... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I've noticed some of them, it, like you said, it's based on who you're wanting to go for, and the other ones are based off yes or no, like bad or good. The businessman yeah. nods thoughtfully. You know... You know, you're right. Never before have I believed so fully that someone was actually eating real food. Yep, that's me. Eating real food. With my real mouth and teeth. Oh, you did choose that one, okay. Are you kidding me? That's convincing to you? The food is falling right through her body onto the floor. Don't hate me. Just because I'm... Efficient. E efficient at eating. Don't worry. I hate you for other, more private reasons. What? Sorry, can't eat. Too much eating real food. Nom, nom, nom. You team up with Polly to make her eating even more realistic. She passes her food through her body to you, and you eat it for her. It's pretty hot. Oh. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> See so who was I going for? Uh, no. The table you chose is quiet, crowded. Liam sits across from Miranda, who is flanked by two well-dressed servants. One of the servants cuts a slice of Salisbury steak and feeds it to the other. Seriously, Miranda, you have servants to chew your food for you. What? Of course not. That would be barbaric. The servant happily swallows the Salisbury steak. I have servants to eat for me. They're called eating serfs. Don't you have any? First of all, no. I don't eat food. Second of all, that totally defeats the purpose of eating. Aren't you worried about starving? Why would I be? My serfs... Or er, yeah, my serfs get all the calories. I need to stay fit and healthy. Ugh. I have no objective reason to care about this, but suddenly it's all I care about. Someone convinced me Miranda to stop. Someone convinced Miranda to stop this madness. Maybe you should start this madness, Liam. Imagine all the food you take pictures of without having to eat any of it. Or, but Miranda, look at the content, contented smile on that servant's face. You think he's eating for you, but secretly he's eating for himself. I'll do that one. That's not who I wanted, though. <laughs> uh. Are you gonna... No! It can't be! Gordo, say it isn't true! <laughs> but Gordo can't say anything, because his mouth is full of delicious Salisbury steak. Salisbury steak, which he is obviously eating entirely for his own benefit. Traitorous dog, do you want me to starve to death? Is that your plan? I think maybe he was just taking advantage of the fact that you don't understand how food works. Taking advantage of me? Scoundrel! Burpee, eat Gordo for me at once. Burpee. The two serfs look at each other, then stuff as much food as they can into their mouths before fleeing the cafeteria. Alas! How will I ever get my recommended daily allowance of nutrients now? You could try eating. Myself? But how? You and Liam have a ton of fun laughing at Miranda as she learns how to eat food for apparently the first time in her life. 
Wow. You find Scott and Damien immersed in their favorite mobile game, Pokemon Pokemans Go, based on the classic Pocket Humans. <clears throat> my Reginald's Bond my Reginald Bosworth uses income tax audit. Oh no, my Lindsay Roberts never saves receipts. It's super effective. Haha, -ha. and now for the finishing blow. The wait, what? Reginald contracted lymphoma? Reginald's lymphoma deals 500 physical damage to him and 999 emotional damage to him and his loved ones. Ooh, I win again! Why are all your Pokemon so unhealthy, Damien? Because I make them all smoke cigarettes and live next to toxic waste dumps, obviously. Maybe you should stop that? Where's the fun in that? Let's have another match. Okay, who was doing this guy? I think it was Kayla, right? Kitty. Yeah. What are you two nerds doing? Nerding around? Nerd up, nerds. Whoa, Scott, is that you? We didn't recognize you under all that nerdery. What are you doing playing a dumb video game for stupid babies? But Pokemans isn't dumb. It's cool. Because, because... No way is Scott going to come up with anything. But if you do, maybe you can score some points with Scott or Damien. <laughs> Show them that a phone equipped with Pokemans Go can also be used as a football. Or, say nothing, help them with steamed vegetables. <laughs> I feel like it's got to be the top one. Yes. No way. I it didn't know that. Oh well, I uh, I didn't even. Okay. I, I didn't, okay. It's not. She is just going to grab someone's phone and. You snatch Damien's phone, heft it in one hand, and fling it across the cafeteria. Hey, my phone! What the quacks was that for? Yay, someone threw something. I'll get it. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Check out the perfect spiral on that throw. That's technique right there. Let's all install Pokemans on our phone right now. And then throw our phones at each other. The wolf pack bound off to play full contact phone tag. Scott soon returns with Damien's phone in his mouth. Damien's phone is pretty much destroyed, but Scott is so happy to be playing fetch with you. <laughs> I feel like you're going to start playing fetch with care or something. <laughs> you only have two places. We're going to go over here. We're going to talk to him. You're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insists on striking up a conversation. Hey there, bud! What you drinking? <clears throat> what? Milk? That's it. That's hardly a drink at all. Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. And what would be without And what would we be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. But enough about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? Mm. Both or whiskey? Whiskey. Oh wow. Whiskey. Hmm. I don't remember offering you any whiskey. But you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? Oh, well, guess I just got to go out and buy you a case of whiskey. What? Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on her behalf. When all your classmates realize they can get Coach to buy them booze just by asking, you become the coolest kid in school. You gain plus four fun. Oh. Let's trade places. Bring you back. Bring you back. Um, you want to do a challenge? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Everybody chooses something bad. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, hot dog with jelly on top. Drugs. I think, mm -hmm. I, I think I've already lost that one. 
Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, something bad. Broccoli. What a bad? Okay, whatever. All right, you can clean. I like broccoli, but it's bad okay. alone. So, clean. I love broccoli. Oh, my God. Oh. I also we'll like broccoli. Bean. Yeah, you can click. We've all set our player order is decided based on how badass a criminal called Mike the Blank Johnson would be. Start debating that. Mike the Michael Jackson. Mike the Michael Jackson <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Mike the hot dog oh. with jelly on top Johnson. What? Mike yeah, the broccoli lost. Johnson. Mike, Mike the broccoli yeah. is pretty. Good. Drugs Johnson. I personally I think. Say... Go ahead. Huh? I was going to say, I think number one has got to be broccoli. You think so? Yeah. And like the, the drugs? Broccoli. And two is going to be drugs. Three will be Michael Jackson. And fourth is the hot dog with jelly. <laughs> That's how okay, I see it. So I can get behind that. So who's first? Well, me. does Kayla and so Skittles agree, though? Yeah. I agree. Oh, okay, then, yeah. First was uh, Kayla, which is Oz, right? Yeah. Second is Fire. Third is Blue. And Green is last, because I had to be hot dog with jelly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess... That's Brock a delicacy, James. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Whatever you say. That day you visit the bathrooms to take a number two. <laughs> Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. Thank God. <laughs> Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Oh, God. Look at you, you crazy quacks. You gain plus two boldness and probably plus one uh, staff below yeah. cocos with a slight chance of plus one Quacks. Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus. Okay, I... Okay, oh, yeah. Y'all no. yeah, hey, no. said it for me, so... <laughs> but none of that matters. You're late to meet Polly for more party experiments. Oh, no. Alright. Our research is cross progressing. Well, so far. But I got a very unlimited, simple side. I need to know that you... Holy crap. I need to know that we can make any party the best, not just some parties. So tomorrow morning, we're going to crash. Holy crap. Mm. <laughs> wow. A funeral! If we can make that fun. Well, fun isn't we can funeral. Make fun. We can make fun <laughs> anything fun. Wow. So, brainstorm time! How can we put the fun back in funeral? Possess the body of the deceased, bringing him back for one last party, or bounce a castle. <laughs> I would pick the first one. Later that night. Woo! That was awesome. I was so totally, totally inside the dude. Oh, sorry, no, I, <laughs> <laughs> I did not that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. And then when they were like, "Does anyone else want to say a few words?" and I was like, "Oh, oh, oh, me." They totally freaked out. And then I was like, let's turn this funeral into a wedding. And I got to, an, to 11 people. Who are all windows now? Because I left that, I left that dude in the hip on the dance floor and whatever when Weddings. Oh. Weddings roll. Hey us, you know what? I think we're going. To, I think we're gonna get really close to the truth formula for a rad party. You're the best 
scientist partner I have ever had. You guess she hasn't had lots of science partners. You doubt she even knows the real definition of science, but she's just too happy for you to correct her now. Come on! It's night st still young. Let's go turn a all-night laundry net into an epic rave. Those washing machines don't know what hit them. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. That day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with one, the small magical Latino cat. You start telling him that Aww. hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the goblin king. <laughs> I don't want to know about that one. <laughs> Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the goblin king was, 100 people or so burst into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into plus two fun. Oh, that's cool. Afterwards, Scott catches up to you, panting excitedly. Bro, oh, mm. bro, hey, I was just looking for you. I can't stop thinking about you. <laughs> this is sounding good. <laughs> so I thought maybe tonight, if you weren't doing anything. Yes, yes. We could maybe go somewhere private and, you know, use our bodies to... Lunar Salad, welcome back in. He's into... Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Even the narrator's into it. Yes. Yes. Work out. I knew it was going to be something different. Oh. Okay, you're maybe a little disappointed, <laughs> but you can still salvage this. You suggest the most romantic workout you know. French squats or naked basketball? Mm. Welcome back in Lunar Salad, by the way. Hope you're doing good. And the two people that joined us, they, they're here with us now. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. French squats. I would pick Nick and Baskin. See, it's hard because, like, I feel like <laughs> either one would work with him because he works out so squats, okay, but he's into sports because of basketball. Thing. King, welcome in. Thank you all still at it. We are King. Welcome in, by the way. How are you doing? Let me give you a shout out. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> How? I told you. I, what? I, well, it was the quotations. Oh, so quotations yeah. gives you the answer? No, I just m knew it meant something different than French squats. Well, I knew that, and I didn't even read that skill. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that sort of redundant? What? No! You explained to Scott that basketball <laughs> is normally played with clothes on. It is? No what? way! Is that why all my teammates always wear clothes when we play? Just call me Lunar Salad or Jay. Okay, I got you. But the professional league is called the NBA, the Naked Basketball Association. No, it can't be. You're just trying to pollute my pure love of the game with your weird anti-nudity thing. And to think, I was going to play basketball with you. Defeated, you reluctantly put your clothes back on. Oh, you lose minus two charm and minus one boldness. Night Raven! Welcome back in. Oh. <sighs> oh, it's, it's not me. Okay. Yeah, it's Caitlin. Mm. Gotcha. I just hate it because it doesn't show me. I think it shows me when Skittles moves it. But that day while rehearsing for the class play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. <laughs> Are you kidding me? But afterwards, while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point in a discussion. So you decide to convey it through music. You start singing, and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. 
It's so amazing that the people with whom you are arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. You gain plus two creativity. Needed it anyway. I thought I thought you just say nudity. Gosh darn! <laughs> I signed up for this play because I knew I could fill out these costumes like a goddess. I appreciate that, by the way. <laughs> but now I start, or now I'm starting to think, I might actually hate acting, which is weird, because I love lying. Then that's your quacking problem, Vera. You shouldn't be lying. You should be living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. Duh. What? You think I don't know about acting? I have hidden depths, you know. My life isn't all punching and arson. It's just mostly those things. Look, you're an assassin, right? You just need to think of the best reason to assassinate someone. Oh, you know exactly what that is. Because nobody's paying you not to, or no reason at all, everyone is rotten and deserves to die. Ooh, no quotation marks this time. Oh. Hmm. Hello? Oh, that's probably true, but also really time consuming. Yeah, if her character assassinated everyone, when would we find time for the plot? Exactly. I mean, I already don't know what the, or the plot of the show. Damien being a theater nerd? Question mark. <laughs> Oh, he heard you say that. Vera? <laughs> have you not even read the Mother Clacken script? <laughs> See, he's on her butt. There was a script? I thought I was just supposed to wear a fly outfit and throw knives at people I hated. I swear to both my dads, if you make us look like quack holes up there because you haven't even bothered to read the script. Okay, okay. Get off your high horse of the apocalypse. Should we maybe just go read the script? Alright, give me a moment real quick, y'all. I feel like a deflated balloon. Oh, yeah, King, why is that? Do you use mods? Um, Lunar, I do use mods. Vera, yes. Damn. That's probably a pretty reasonable plan. Unfortunately, it's one that you're cut out of. You lose minus two fun and minus one creativity. Man, I'm so sad when we lose. And now it's my turn. Oh, no, no. Uh, you know, I'm going to do something smart. Mm, class. That day, you are astonished by the new stuff you learn in class. Hooray! You thought high school was all about doing stupid crap with your friends and trying to find true love. What? Oh, that's good, Lunar? Okay. Who would have thought that class could actually be useful? What a nice surprise. You gain plus one valuable lesson. Good luck trying to use that in this game. <laughs> and plus, plus two smarts. You're minding your own business when Miranda comes rushing up to you, clearly distraught. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Hate sorry. the water? I don't know what. She's exactly. doing this? She's like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's pretty distraught, so it fits. <laughs> Most terrible news, Fred. <laughs> oh my God, I inhaled my spit. I've just watched the documentary Game of Thrones, and now I fear for my own royal family. Uh oh, I'm about to get, like, sued. Well, it's rather graphic, and it didn't feel the greatest, so I don't know if right now is the best time to talk about it. Well, King, you can message me privately, uh, if you want to, on Facebook or Twitch, so. I did not realize how susceptible we might be to random acts of treachery, or how often we romance our siblings. And yeah, King, hope you get to feeling better, whatever it is. I don't want to be shot in the chest by a crossbow while sitting on the toilet. That doesn't sound proper at all. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> scene, I remember. Please, help me put my poor mind at ease. How can I possibly identify potential traitors in my court? Just keep an eye out for the classic signs, shifty eyes, hooded black cloaks, ordinary knives in bulk. Or pretty much everybody is a traitor. Just spin a bottle and whoever it points at, kill them. Second one. Oh! Oh. <sighs> An excellent idea. I shall enact it at once. 
Dude, I love <laughs> elves, but I don't like Game of Thrones, but they kind of made elves perfect. Oh, yeah, Lunar? Wait, there are elves in Game of Thrones? You try to tell her she should wait till she gets back to her castle, but she's already spun the bottle and it's pointing at... Me? I'm the traitor? Alas! Alas! <laughs> I am my own worst enemy! How could I bring myself to betray me? Miranda immediately arrests herself on suspicion of treason and you for consorting with a traitor. She's acquitted because she's literally a princess, but you don't have that luxury. You're sentenced to be publicly pelted with sea cucumbers and so lose minus two charm and minus one fun. Man, we're all losing. Oh my god. Say that for yourself. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Who will you ask to prom? I asked Wolfie. I think. Um. I think you picked Wolf too. How do I do it? Yes. Oh. Okay. See, I can see when Skittles moves, but I can't see y'all two. Because we don't have a mouse. We're oh, it's her okay. um like touch. Wait, Luna, are you being for real? If they had it, I actually didn't know that. Okay, it's my turn. All right. Uh, Miranda's the one that I was, I think, the closest to. Here we go. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Oh, crap. I'm going to get my heart broken. Huh? Prom? I don't know. I mean, you're so out of shape. My grandma always says I need to mate with an alpha specimen so we can breed strong babies. Okay. Appreciate it, Prompto. Okay. Sorry. You couldn't get a date for Monster Prom. Actually, you couldn't get a date for the rest of your life. Oh my god. Okay. Can someone please take me to prom, please? <laughs> Some nights alone in your bed, you wish sadness was an STD, because at least then you wouldn't be getting so much of it. Oh. Alright, alright, all right, Blue. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Lunar, I did not know that. Wow. Wait a minute, you're talking about like the nature people, right? Blue? Is um, yes. Okay. Prom? With you? Oh my god. Stupid quack! <laughs> <laughs> I need spice in my life. And if you were a spice, you would be... Um... Huh? Some... Crack and bland spice. <laughs> I didn't. And Lunar, I forgot, so it makes sense now. Okay. This failure haunted you the rest of your life, and you never moved on. Becoming a total and constant failure. You never succeeded at, any at anything again. Oh my god! Except for that time you won at Monsters Got Talent, but your talent was being a failure at love. It astonished everyone how bad you were at romance. Wow. <laughs> Not any less sad, though. I mean, this game just hurts you. Sure. Uh, <laughs> man, if y'all lost, I know I lost. Alright. <laughs> you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the Monster Prom with you. What? I'm sorry to tell you this, my friend. Yep. But I think your princess is in another castle. Oh, wow. They pulled the Mario Kart on me. <laughs> it all seemed pretty bleak, but you're a natural fighter. So you fought. For the right to marry your own hand. Does that seem like your last chance at finding love? Wow. Uh. Yay. All right. You got this. Come on. You got to be the one. Uh, Skittles? Oh. Ooh. What? You unveiled this. Prom? No. What? Surprise. Oh my god, okay. I might will be oh my god. Exper opportunity to contact our experiment. Our, our exper experiment. Experiment. In party science. So clever of you. That's why you're the best scientist. His partner. 
That's not what you meant, but sure, why not? At this point, you go with it. <laughs> Sooner than expected, prom night is here, and the two of you are finally ready to crack the ultimate party formula. You free some wild animals, you do lots of ecstasy, you awaken the dead, you even do the dance of joy. <laughs> Everything is perfect. You feel floaty and full of energy, you see beautiful shiny lights, and you feel connected to everyone. Obviously, most of that is thanks to the ecstasy, but still. <laughs> you feel like you've conquered the night and put a flag with your names on the peak of life itself. Then dawn comes. By now, you're on a hill by the sea, watching the sun slowly coming up. No idea how you got there, but who cares? You're at peace watching the gentle tide of the morning. When you realize Polly has her hand over yours, she looks at you. You know what, Oz? Oh. Wait. You know what else? Oh, okay, yeah. I'm this might be Mo Molly talking, but I think I finally got it. All these parties have been wildly different, yet all of them have been the very best. I put a lot of thought into it and can only think of one thing they all had in common. I think the formula is a perfect party. Must be shared with sharing it with the right people. You don't answer. You just hold her hand as you spend the morning watching the sun slowly coming up over the sea together. Yo! Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um. That's crazy that the, there's over 1,500 outcomes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Who's that girl? Who's the girl with the purple hair? With the eye? Oh, something different. Oh, okay. It's still the same thing, right? Well... <clears throat> I will probably let y'all go from here, but thanks for playing. It was fun. You're welcome. It was fun. I'm glad I got a date and no one else did. <laughs> Ow. That's hard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My heart just got just torn into a So what was the name of the other <laughs> game you said, uh, Kitties? That you oh, asked it's, that um... Road Trip? It's Monster Bomb Camp. It's okay. like a DLC, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I might look into getting it. I'll probably put it on my wish list. If it's on sale, I'll get it. You should. Okay. You have unlocked it and eight new mazes. Um, yeah, yeah, there's another one called Road Trip, too. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to leave the Discord call here. But y'all take it easy. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. It was fun. All right. Okay, so as for my stream, I'm going to keep going. But... Um, when you're pretty rad with friend group, well, I appreciate it, Lunar. Can you please tell Kayla to call me? Uh, man, I don't know if you said that before I left, but I can. I'll message her. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Lunar, Kayla, call this man. Um, Alright, so we're going to continue. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened. And it was wonderful. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful, and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. But in her free time, she still cooks the real quack. Her greatest inventions so far are water watermelon-flavored Quack! And a thing called Quack! Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, prison was flammable. Scott became a world-renowned athlete, but he ended his career to come back to his hometown and take on the job of the athlete he admired the most. Now he's back at high school again, working as the coach. For those two weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. I'm still blown away that Caitlin said there's like 1,500 endings to this game. 
crazy. But yeah, I appreciate everyone who came in, um, who whether it was to lurk, chat, watch, um, Lunar. Like I said, in fact, I'll give Skittles another shout out. Um, I think she said she plans to play this game tomorrow. Um, definitely, if you haven't followed her yet, follow her. Um, she'll probably, she said she's playing with viewers, so definitely play with her. If I play this again, I'll probably play with viewers as well. This ain't really my style of game. So I think it's only the second time I played it and streamed it. But I actually enjoy it. Um, Feather Friend, thank you, Feather, for the stream, Feather, from the nest atop your chamber door, Quaff the Raven Nevermore. Hey, uh, Hyper Knight Raven, thank you for coming in and watching and lurking. I appreciate it. You remember it a little bit? Yes. Um, yeah, uh, Skittles, like I said, she... Well, sometimes she'll say something and she'll either forget or not do it. But maybe you can remind her. Thank you. Thank you for the Dole Monster Blend Prom Stween. Rin, hey, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Are you Southern by chance? I am, Rin. Uh, Lunar. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's an accent that I have. Propto Max Photos. Thank you for the stream, Chocobos. Hey, thank you for staying in. Let me give all of you. In fact, the accent is sick. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, believe it or not, my accent is pretty light compared to a lot of people that live where I'm from. Like, they talk like this. Wait, wait, no. Actually, no. That's, that's, false. that's false. That's Alabama. That's Forrest Gump. Unlocked. You have unlocked six new images in this gallery. Cool. Actually, I'm probably going to go on Steam and, like, put all these on my wish list. If there's any on sale, I'll go ahead and buy them. That's cool. Ali, welcome in. I'm actually about to end my stream. <laughs> but welcome in. How are you doing? Boo. Uh, let's see. Okay. Some of these are from uh, the last time I played this. Oh. <laughs> They're all from... Um, yeah, you were using Hugs accent earlier. Yeah, King, I used Hugs for the werewolf. Um, Lunar, I reside in Georgia, so I hear it every day. Oh, okay, Lunar. So, uh, are you Southern too? As in, like, you're from Georgia? Or do you happen to live there now i've been lurking oh i appreciate it ali yeah um so i'll kind of advertise the people that i played with so skittles cotton candy is the one that i played with the whole time we were waiting for two people to join it's plague of kitties and caitlin her girlfriend um skittles cotton candy i actually shout her out earlier she streams as well she was actually streaming this earlier okay she actually entered her stream now so she's not streaming now um I've been here for almost 10 years. Okay, I'm from California. Ooh, so you're on the opposite side. Okay. Um, how you like in Georgia? But um, as for the two other people, they came like an hour, 15 minutes late. Um, but hey, we still able to play the game, so that was cool. Um, Plague of Kitties, she is my main moderator for my Discord server. If you want to join, I have the link below the stream. Um, she also planned, she did stream a little bit back then. But she wants to get. She plans to get a better computer here soon, and she actually plans to kind of go back to streaming. All my family is from California, but Georgia is rad. Okay, yeah, I've been in. I've been. I've driven through Georgia multiple times. I was actually stationed in Georgia for a little bit, um, so I know Georgia a little bit. <clears throat> um, plus, my favorite TV show, The Dukes of Hazard, is based in Georgia, even though it was actually formed in California. Mostly, we got Whataburger and the Varsity, so it's so it's rad. I didn't know Whataburger was in Georgia. I know it was in Texas, because I was stationed in Texas as well, and I, I do like Whataburger. Um, but yeah, so Plague of Kitties plans to stream here soon, when she gets her new PC. Also, Plague of Kitties and Caitlin plan to uh, hopefully do a podcast in the future. I think they already said I'm going to be like the first guest speaker, or not speaker, but guest. But I don't know if that will happen. Hopefully it does, just in case they're still listening. <laughs> um... But yeah. Station, Fort Benning. Yes, Lunar. Uh, I was in the Army. Um, I actually went to Fort Benning for basic. Actually, specifically, OSUT. OSUT, one station unit training. I was infantry. Um, other MOSs go for basic, then they go for AIT, which is advanced individual training to other stations. But being infantry, we stayed there the whole time. Um, but I was there f dirt 
for my basic for like three to four months. I'm from California, but add an N at the end. I'm oh, I'm from a CA. But add, you're from a can? Am I getting that right? I've been to Fort Benning like 1,000 times. Oh, really? Okay. Are you military as well? Or it's called Fort Moore now. Oh, that's right. I heard about the name change. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, Canada. I should have known that. That makes sense. Okay. Um, that is correct, right? Right, Ren? But, um, okay. Yeah, everyone who followed me, in fact, I can do that real quick. In fact, you know what? You know what? I have a new chatting screen. There we go. I added, made it a little different. So what I'll do, I'll end the game, and I'll, this will be the just chatting. So, quit. There we go. And what I can do is, uh, my dad was 20 years in, my brother is five years in, and my other brother just got out basic for Navy. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, so that was right. Okay. That's cool. Um, I'm assuming your dad retired. 20 years is the common retirement time. Brother's in for five years. Okay. Um, what MOSs were your dad and your brother? I don't know Navy. So, yeah, I was in for a little over six years. I joined when I was 17. Uh, this was years ago. Um, I've been out for, wow, almost nine years now. Yep, LOL. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'll actually follow everyone. If, or if you if you followed me and you stream as well, I'll follow you back. And once the stream ends, um, I'll follow all the socials that y'all also have up there. Oh, okay. Actually, I already followed True Sin and Lunar Salad. Okay, here we go. Yep, LOL. <laughs> Um, make sure it is good. But yeah, uh, again, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. That's I actually really enjoy that game. It's not my type of game, but I do enjoy it. Um, and it was kind of on a whim. It was a few hours ago. I'm like, hey, because Skittles had messaged me, would you like to play Fortnite with me tonight? And I'm like, sure. She wanted me to play Among Us with her yesterday, but my internet was out all day yesterday, so that was a little frustrating. My dad was first sergeant E8. Okay, so that that was his rank. Um, do you know what his MOS is? MOS is a job. Like my MOS was 11 Bravo, which is infantry. But rank, I only got the E4 specialist. <laughs> so, but yeah, E8. Yeah, it takes a while to get to that point. So 20 years makes sense. Okay. Well, I definitely thank your dad for his service. Oh, hey, wait. Oh, hey, what did you think of Balthazar's first journal entry? Um, I thought it was actually interesting. I remember reading it, but I have to kind of read it again. Because I remember you asked about, uh, can I have my own entry? He was a tanker and recruiter. Oh, okay. Well, I will say infantry and tankers really like butt heads. And everyone hates recruiters. Because <laughs> it's the whole, my recruiter lied to me. Um, but, but I still thank him for his service though. Um. But I do remember you asking, King, and I didn't make the channel, um, because I didn't read it till later. Which, if no one made it, I would have made it for you. Um, so either Ignis or Skittles did. But uh, I do remember thinking it was funny. For example, the whole uh, with the help of yours truly, and there was like one or two of the things I thought was you know humor. So um, I definitely think so far. You're doing a little better than you've been doing, so that's good. So those of y'all who don't know, King Arthur here, he used to stream a little bit himself. Um, he actually plays in one of my D&D campaigns. Um, he plays Balthazar, a variant human rogue, if I'm correct. Um, my brother's a tanker, and others will be the guy who makes sure the ship doesn't explode. Okay. Oh, ads are about to start, so actually, so y'all don't get hammered with ads, I'll try to end it here. But, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I have uh, a TikTok, Instagram, uh, Discord, uh, Twitter. Yes, you are correct. 
sweet. All right. Um, definitely check me out. Um, and Lunar and Sin, if you have any socials linked to your Twitch, I'll follow them after the stream. But again, thank you everyone who came in. I hope everyone has had a good week so far. It's Thursday. Um, hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. And actually, I'm going to do a stream check real quick. I'll try to be quick. Add you about to start here. See if there's anyone I should raid over. All right, so actually what I'll do, um, let's see if there's anyone else playing Monster Prawn. How about that? It's just me. Okay, never mind. We're not going to raid. <laughs> I'm always excited when someone is military ex-military since none of my friends know about it. Oh, okay. So I take it that means you're uh, an army brat. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, we're going to end it here because I think ads are about to play. I don't want to get y'all bombarded. Thank you for coming in. Hopefully everyone's had a good uh, week so far. Hopefully your week ends well. Y'all take it easy.